Welcome back, everyone. This is Farmer Cobb here. This is going to be episode uh, 51 of my gameplay on No Man's Land. So full disclosure, we're not going to make it very far today, but we're going to get a lot done, and I have a ton of new businesses to show off to you guys. So what we want to do today is we're going to sell all of our silage off, and by, I mean, we sell it off. I mean, they're going to come pick it up because we pay Lucky Logistics to all, all of it away for us. So um, they're going to hopefully come pick all that up for us. And then... We're going to sell all of our honey off, and then I also think we're going to sell off this hive and our three hives uh, over up over there. Because, well, I think it's time that we uh, stop doing honey, because I think it's more time than we need to focus on, and um, we need to clear those honey areas out anyways, or those... We need to clear these guys over here out so we can make our new field, these three over here. So, um, yeah, I don't know what the thumbnail will be for this episode to be honest it might be one of the new businesses to be honest because they're pretty cool um you guys probably already know if that's the case obviously um i did sell four horses off camera so we had four worth five grand so we sold them for 20 grand so that bank count balance went up a little bit uh, i did another silage harvest and i got all of our fields fertilized and weeded and all that good stuff um and then we we're also going to sell off some flour and maybe some planks and maybe some oatmeal so a lot of stuff to sell how many planks do we have we have twenty-seven thousand. We could do a load of those, but we don't really have a full trailer yet, so I may not worry about it. Then how much do we have in here? We have 33,000 in here, which that plus the stuff we have sitting out over there will be more than enough probably for a full load. Um, it's not really good enough time for those guys, everyone, or everything to be sold yet, but we do have a really good uh, silage price. But first, I think we need to show off some of these new businesses because I think that will be um, key. Well, we'll just, one of them we're going to sell to, I think. So I think it's just uh, important for us to do that. Now, to be fair, 15 of these bales are going to go to Morgan the Deer Man. Uh, they're going to get chipped off to his farm, um, which he has a farm over up on the map. So um, he's going to take those guys. And oh, I hate this. There's like a weird collision here. It only affects me walking. So strange. But I think like somehow weirdly up and around. You have no idea what's there. Uh, but my driving is fine. It doesn't affect my driving. We'll just go around this side. We're going to hop in our truck. It feels like it's getting laid out, but it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon or 1.30 in the afternoon. So, I think first we uh, I think first we head out this way. So first off, I put guardrails up and center areas back up since we lost all of our cement barriers. So I put those guys up. You can already start to see it up here on the right-hand side as we get up here. I did a big bunch of work up here. Got it surrounded by trees and everything, so it looks nice. But up there, we're going to take a look in a second. I cleaned this exit up a little bit with some more decorations and such and some trees and well, actually, I actually think the trees were there. Sorry, it's just that I put the barriers in so it looks a little bit nicer. So up here we have a few new kind of additions. So we'll take a look at all of those. So first, right here on the left hand side, we have Orton Fuel. So this is Ben Orton's little fuel shop. Um, Little convenience store here, a cell tower, kind of an old truck there. Old tractor sitting over there next to the garage. Um, yeah. We got a couple of diesel pumps out here. One there, that truck's filling up. Diesel pump there, a couple regular pumps in there. We're going to get fuel and then another exit out this way to both sides of the highway. And a billboard. So I thought that was a pretty good setup for that. Um, ben Orton's original con... Sorry, I was reading the wrong description. I started reading the wrong description. Ben Orton's left uh, actually has two businesses. He's one of the rare people that's going to have kind of two going. Because uh, he kind of is a part owner up there of the holiday homes and holiday areas up there. Um, so also, down here, this fuel point says, Hey, FC, I have a business proposition for you. I'm looking for a small piece of land in Copper Springs to open up a new fuel station. I'd like to open up a small local station for local people to begin with, but also enough land on site to be able to expand if the demand is there. On site, I'm looking to open up a small shop which will sell food and basics that the local community would need. I would also have like to have an area where people cash wash their vehicles as well. If you come across anything you can find, please do let me know. So obviously I didn't meet all the standards there, but I felt this was a good spot on the map. If we look at the map here, having a fuel station kind of out here, accessible to all the people up here doing their thing compared to the nearest one, which is right over here. I think that that's, this is a pretty good chunk of land that needs one. This one kind of operates from the main town. But yeah, I thought that'd be a good spot for a fuel station. We may even put another one out here or something like that as the highway continues out that way. But um, yeah, I thought this would be a good spot for that. So I wanted to put that in here. And then if we get back on the highway heading this way, we have a few more businesses over this way. We curve in here. Right here we have Loadings Supply or Loadings Farm Supply. So um, 
yeah, just some farm equipment stored over there in the corner, a few different buy points, propane point. There's the BGA, which we're gonna take a look at in a second. So separate from the BGA is this little farm supply shop. I just felt it would uh, seem to fit really good in here. So uh, loadings come, oh, I'll let that auto save. Loadings comment says uh, he wanted to open a farm shop or supply business. Said he could buy fertilizer, herbicides, slurry, digestate water, and lime, and any other crop protection products using the multi fruit station by ATU Studio, which is there on the right hand side, I believe. Um, you could also sell all the products back using government drain mod, maybe even add a bunker silo and rock crusher or even some solar panels, but do this later in the series when the land develops and there are more businesses. So, obviously, the, a lot of these comments were left pretty close to the beginning of the series. So, um, we already had a farm supply shop over in town, but I figured one out here on the highway would be kind of nice. So, um, Loading's comment, since he was the second one to make a comment about a farm supply business, kind of got put on the back burner. So um, now it's here. Obviously, you guys know about our little salesman here. And then this little guy right here, it's got these these rocks are pretty cool. It's a little dynamic rock mod that I think Darren Duel sent over to me. These guys move around. You can drive over them if you want. But it's a little rock pit where you can sell your rocks. Um, I thought this would be kind of nifty out here. And this was a comment that... Uh, Oh goodness, let me find out who left this one here real quick. Um, so this was, uh, oh goodness, where are all my, uh, it was Tobo Fish, that's right, Tobo Fish. Tobo Fish, so Tobo Fish, um, his comment, if I can find it on here. Tobo Fish said, um, I would like to move out there on a small plot of land with a stone crusher and then stones have lime, or then, and then make them into lime. Um, I make it a lime for you. Uh, and your land uh, and hopefully in the future i can open a diesel mechanic shop since there's already a diesel mechanic shop i'd like to add a transport company called fishes transport and lime and there's a few other things in there but um we already had a stone crusher set up over our quarry a lot of people actually wanted to open a stone crusher but uh i wanted to add tobo fishes kind of out here i know it's not the ideal maybe uh, business that tobo was looking for but i wanted to make sure i could try to add it in as best as possible and this seemed to kind of fit with the series um so that's what i did and now what you guys are probably all waiting for is right here and there's signs here we have uh Harvey biogas. So, um, the comment for this one was, I believe uh, Logan Usman made this comment. Um, if we go up to his comment, I'm looking at it here. I uh, said, hey, I heard someone was making salad around the area and thought it would be um, a good business opportunity to start a biogas power plant, supply the area with power as well as better prices for farmers. And they actually do have a better price for silage, which is nice, not by a crazy amount, but by a little bit, which is pretty cool. Um, I would like to name it after my grandpa who had a big dairy farm and I always remember riding and when he was uh, chopping corn salad. So I would open a BGA power plant called Harvey Biogas, which is what we got. I would also like a small house nearby and be willing to do some part-time work for someone. I don't have a small house for him, but we do have a beautiful couple of BGAs, a couple of small ones and then a big one here on the left-hand side. So um, there's actually technically three cell points in here, but yeah, I like this. I like where this is at. I like how it's kind of set up. I like that it's kind of hidden by the trees a little bit. Um, this very well could be the uh, thumbnail, by the way. And then also out here, um, we have another little, a little miniature kind of small scale sawmill operation. If we get out and look at the sign, uh, Wepri's sawmill. So hop uh, back in here. I can find the, uh, oh goodness, find the comment on here. So many in here. Uh, here we are. Uh, GKW left this comment, said, Hi, Farmer Cop, that was fun. Now approach to a survival let's play. I would like to own a, saw, a small sawmill. My father and grandfather used to own a family sama, which I was set to inherit in Western Tasmania. I still remember sitting on grandpa's knee and hearing stories about the early days when his father worked him really hard and kept him out of school. I used to love helping out around the mill after school and on holidays. The sounds and smells of a working sama are very, uh, uh, very good for me. So there we go. And then, yeah, it's a long comment, but in general, here we go. Here's your sawmill. Without me reading the whole comment, I love the storyline behind it. And there you go. Fantastic. We added that in. And I think that's everything out here. I'm looking at uh, my list of everything that's added in. One, two, let me see. Three, four. Yeah, okay. That, there's several more things or stops we have to make, but that's it for out here um, on the highway. So we're going to sell our, our silage at that BGA right there because they have a really good price for us. So again, I know I said this episode would have... Uh, um, we wouldn't make it very far, and I basically just meant that as well. We're going to show off some new businesses and we're going to sell a bunch of stuff off and hopefully we can uh, get ourselves, uh, I'm hoping to get two or three hundred thousand dollars more in the bank, which I think would be great for us as we start saving up and trying to earn more cash and everything like that. Just take a look in here. So first off, uh, the Bank of Banks and Sprague has gotten an upgrade. They released this uh, bank mod on the Mod Hub and I thought that this was literally perfect for them. So farmer savings, so... 
I changed their building out to kind of, uh, well, to just match with their business. So I wanted to do that for them. And there we go. We have it there. And I think everyone should have signs and everything up now too, which is great. Uh, but then we have a couple of new business up here. One big one you can see right there. Um, and then there's some towers over there. And oh, I didn't want to open that up. Uh, but right here, we have a nice, beautiful DC tech services. So this is kind of an IT service uh, by the tested corn. I'll have to comment about IT service. And you need at least two floors. Well, you got three and then a little kind of, I don't know, kind of fourth floor up there. Yeah, nice little tech service building. So if you need any IT services in town, we have this beautiful building now available. And then, oh gosh, I keep crashing into things. Out here, we have a couple of other businesses. On the left-hand side here, it's smaller business, but we have, um, let's see, um, 98.9 Copper Metal FM Radio. So 99 Copper FM Radio. Uh, Kellen had this idea. Uh, Kellen says, I've noticed the growing population of New Copper Springs, which is our city name. It would be a great location for a new radio station, bringing local news, sports, and weather to listeners in the area. It would consist of a small building with a radio antenna anywhere it would work on the map. 98.9 Copper Metal Radio. <laughs> so there we go. That's what we got going on here. And then up here, we have another little cell point here, but then beautiful little area here. What do we have going on here? Well, we have the goth and coffee barista the goth and coffee barista um so this was from a comment from oh gosh uh maria maria left a comment or actually messaged me said a uh, coffee shop she said that she wanted the coffee shop she's studying to be a master barista high quality coffee shop named goth and coffee barista um so this one is a bakery production chain i used the uh, land bakery months i felt that kind of felt met with the vibe a little bit um, the plants are all dead right now because it's winter time but uh, normally there's flowers out here and i figured this is kind of a high-end kind of coffee shop maybe like a nice little garden with a you know a peaceful fountain you could come sit out here and um relax and drink your coffee and enjoy your day and then go in for some donuts and yeah just a lot of seating area and i wanted to be prevented or protected from the car so i put these nice uh, stone power, flower pots in there so like that right next to the brewery right there but there we go um, I love it. And even in the evening time, to be honest, they could keep open and maybe do like some wine tasting and stuff there and maybe contract with the brewery. Actually, I don't think this brewery makes wine, but anyhow, there we go. We have that. Now, if we actually drive around this way, there's more. Yes, I know there's more. Um, Sean Bing, Sean Bing, you wanted to open up a dealership for used equipment. I didn't really have a place that I could fit that in. We already have a couple of equipment dealers in town. So I decided to name this after you. So this is Sean Bing's auto dealer here, which I know used equipment and used cars are very different, but uh, this, is, this, is, this is just how I had to kind of work in it. So I apologize that it's not exactly what you wanted, uh, but I wanted to make sure I included you. So I wanted to make sure that was in there. Um, and then I think the final one, looking down my list, let me see here. And yes, I think my final one's out here, other than I do have to mention one other thing. Um, right here, so at the scrapyard, which we know over here is randy's junkyard well a towing service could operate out of this building here so now we have racers towing uh, which that's the only way i could spell it the sign gets weird if you put certain letters in there for whatever reason and turns them into symbols so that's how i had to spell it in there but yeah, i gave him a couple of tow trucks out here so yeah nice little towing business i feel like this is like the perfect kind of building just to have like a little towing operation out of and they can tow to the scrapyard which kind of makes sense so it kind of made sense to kind of combine those two a little bit there using that same space so i like that but there we go now, and oh, our barrier went away here because of because of my update. We all have to put our barrier in there later. But anyhow, so speaking of cell towers, we were contacted by. Well, let me look, make sure I'm reading everything on here. But yeah, so Paper Trail left the comment about uh, the racers towing. Said as the town grows bigger, and now I'm moving out that way, I'd love to open up a towing company. Racers towing would offer you the first rollover for free and four percent off every other rollover after that. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, make sure I'm reading all my comments through here. So yeah, a lot, a lot of good businesses we added in, I think, which I, I think is absolutely great. Um, let me see here. Where was the comment about? Oh, goodness, I'm losing it. Oh, I know why. It was under my uh, subscriber contract. So let me pull that up real quick. Super easy here for me to do, theoretically speaking. Um, so this is a contract from, oh, goodness, now I have to find it again. So many crazy things in here. And I found it. It was right in front of me the whole time. Sorry, I put a little cut in there. Uh, from Biker Flame says, love the series. Here's a possible idea to get some small, stable income. 
Um, letter sent to all businesses in No Man's Land. Hello, let us introduce ourselves. We are Nowhere Mobile and are a company that wants to bring cellular service to remote places. We have noticed that their area is lacking cell service. So we have come with this offer. We are willing to pay anyone who wants to put down a cellular tower a fee of $480 a month for the use of their land um, to place the cell tower. First business to respond will get the tower. Now, to be fair, I did put a couple towers in town. So I think they have three towers, one out at the gas station, um, one at the radio station, and then one on our farm, which I will show you guys once we get back there. But uh, yeah, so it does. It is a passive income source. Um, so we technically own it, but I just kind of reimbursed us the cost of building it um, because I thought that was uh, pretty fair. Um, since they're just basically leasing the land from us. So they paid to build the tower. Uh, but we get paid $480 a month, so $240 a day for us. But there it is, up on that hill. Right there. So I thought that'd be kind of nice to have that available for us. I'm just going to park this guy anywhere really is fine. I guess I can back you back in the garage here. I do like our little house set up here. But yeah, so I apologize. A lot of businesses getting added in there. Um, we can't get out, of course. This is ridiculous. Okay, well, we're just going to... I hate that you get stuck sometimes like that. We're going to hop down here. So, um, yeah, on that note, I'm going to bring you guys back in when it's time to sell some stuff off. Well, actually, in the meantime, I should say our silage is about to get shipped away because if we go into our menu here, go to our silage, 195 is a pretty dadgum good deal at the mini biogas plant. So we're going to get it all shipped off. 15 bales will get delivered over to our uh, friend out at... Uh, um, Morgan the Deer Man's farm, so we'll get that taken care of. But yeah, I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. All right, so it's time to sell flour at least. Uh, we made $130,000, almost $131,000 off of our silage bales. Um, it was weird the biogas plant didn't pay us out for dropping them off. So that was weird. So I just had to add the money manually, which is really weird. I know we don't own the BG, but it still showed up as a sell point. So not sure what's up with that. Now we can hold 11 more pallets of flour in this trailer. So um, we are going to, I think auto loading is still on. Yeah. So we're going to take what we can out of these pallets here, which won't be all of them, but it'll be a decent amount. Yep. There we go. 50,000. So we have 50,000 liters here, um, which is great. And we're going to go to, if we go to here, honey is not quite where we want it to be. We want it to be a lot, almost 1200, honestly. Uh, flour is seven, just over 700. It was 707, but oh, now it's a 702, of course. So yeah, I think 703 is great. So I'm going to tag that place right there. Um, also, I figured out what these were. Um, they're like the little auto sell, little little like selling booths. So we probably won't use them really because their prices are a little, a little bit cray cray. But uh, other than that, I don't know why I said cray cray. I apologize, but we're going to go sell right there. And then I will, uh, I'll fast forward some more time until we can sell our honey off. Um, we might as well sell the oatmeal actually right now as well because oatmeal. Uh, what 757 yeah that's a beautiful price to sell everything container so uh, what we're going to do is just as i have been doing um i'm going to put a cut in here and i'll see you guys back after i well i'll, I'll see you guys back once i get to where we're going to sell this off which you can see is kind of just dead ahead there um so i'll bring you guys back here in a second and we'll just do some cuts like that all right and we're pulling into mark's seafood restaurant this actually has quite a bit of space for us to be able to get back here to unload, which is kind of nice. Um, so we have 462 in the bank right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's a little chaotic, but that's, that's okay. We had 462 in the bank. I am super curious how much we're going to get. Okay, I'm going to re-auto load all this stuff up. That last pallet. Oh, it's actually unloading out of the trailer. That's super nice. One pallet is stuck though, so I might have to pop out. I have super strength. I just it shouldn't matter if I have super strength. Oh, I guess it kind of ruined that pallet. Let's add super strength in. There we go. And if I get, I guess it, yeah, I forgot that it'll just unload it out of the uh, trailer like that. Let's open that up. Yeah, so that's kind of what we have left to unload. Get over the sell point that is. There we go. Money's flying up. I knew the flower would be a great, great source of income for us. Keep backing it up. That should get all of it right there. Except for that one pallet. There we go. There we go. We had, so we have 498 now, so 
498 minus 462. So we made just about 36,000 off it. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Um, I'm going to drive back to the farm. That's it for the flour for now. I'm going to grab ourselves a load of oatmeal. And I'll see you guys back here when it's time to sell some oatmeal off. All right, we're pulling in with load one and the only load actually of oatmeal we're going to do as of right now. I think we're going to back over that spot, and I think that should do the trick for us. We back over it. We're we'll just going to have to keep an eye on the oatmeal. Got a collision, isn't it? Yeah, that is. All right, well, maybe we'll shut that just to make it simple. Here we go. Okay. That's probably, let's take a look inside here. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Let's just do that and then reload all those. Okay. And then that we can then back over again. Oatmeal again sells for a pretty decent price. Um, and the reason we do oatmeal is because, yes, the production itself is one-to-one. -one, so then all we have to do is look at, is oatmeal worth more than oats? Which, look in here, oatmeal, we're getting, well, 758 right now, which is great. And if we go up to the top where oats are at, we get 633 on a good day, which actually right now is a, some great prices for that. So we're getting $100 more per 1,000 liters, which is really good, really good improvement for us just by simply having to wait a little bit and put it through that production facility, which is super easy for us to do. All right, and then, how's that looking? Yep, yeah, let's go ahead and unload those and then reload them up again. Okay, now they're up all front, so I think we're just gonna, I think if we just drive over it straight or forward, I think that should get it unloaded. And there we go. So we were at, well, four, we were at four, 462 plus um, the 36 we made. So we're at 498. Now we're at 524. So we made about $26,000, which is another great amount of income. We're over half a million dollars now, which is great. Um, I'm going to drive back to the farm. It is not time to sell the honey yet, but I will bring you guys back in when it is time to sell the honey and when we're out at a sell point to sell the honey yet. So I'll see you guys here in just a little while. All right. So it's not time to end the episode yet because. We are going to drop off a load of lumber here, and I don't know where I want to put it necessarily. I wonder if I could put it on top of this one. This could be very sketchy. This could go very poorly. Oh, well, it's already going poorly because we did that. So but I'm wondering if it'll actually just stack on top if I... Who knows what's going to happen here in a second. But this will get us under 70 grand. Let's do... Sure. Oh, wow. Well, that did not look uh, good, but... That is okay. You know, we did it. We did something at least. Um, so we can add uh, $70,000 to our account for selling those off. Now, I might have to come over here and actually delete some of these or do some of that just so obviously we have we have a lot over there and I don't want to slow the map down too much. But uh, there we go. And there's 70 grand in the bank. I'm going to drive back. We're going to pick up our honey and then I'll bring you guys back and we're actually going to get a good sell price, which I think might actually be in March, which is crazy that we're already all ready to spring. We've been up much farther than I thought we would. Um, this episode so anyhow i'll see you guys when it's honey time all right we haven't sold here yet so we'll see how that goes but we have 20,039 liters of honey actually this would be really easy it looks like oh perfect yes be perfect get in there there we go okay beautiful slowly kind of work our way forward here Yeah, there we go. And that was beautiful. Absolutely glorious. So we got, gosh, like $22,000 looks like. No, eight, 18, 16, I don't know. Some some amount of money. <laughs> got some cash. Um, and I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. But first, I mean, I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. Um, but before we get anywhere too crazy here, I wanted to, before I forget, and since you guys are aware we're doing it, um, we are going to sell off our beehives. I did talk to, if you know, there's a the farmer out here that does all the bees. Um, he said he'd come uh, buy our beehives off of us for, he said he'd give us a price. So it uh, looks like he said 58.40 for this. So we'll sell that guy. We paid, I think, 20 some odd grand for it. How much did we pay for that originally? We paid 
19,000 for it. And all these guys we paid 4,400 for over here. We're gonna sell those guys for 1,100 bucks now. There we go. And there we go. I think that's all of them. Perfect. And then we also, while we're in here, can get rid of this little honey spawn point for 57 bucks. There we go. Okay. And just like that, we are out of the bee business, which is okay. We are slowly doing better and doing really good for ourselves. And we're making a lot of money. We're at $625,000. I am going to want to probably landscape that stream in and do maybe some overhaul to the farm soon. Um, I do want to maybe get our fields going. And as we get going, I'll let that save there for a second. Um, just sorry, just looking at things as we get going here. Um, our planks, we can put a couple more loads of wood in here, I think. I think two or three loads of wood can fit in there. So if we can get that done, um, that would be great. So we can keep working on getting stuff cleared out so we can start putting some fields in. Next episode, we're almost certainly going to put a field in. So sure. that's uh, um, I just cleared out a few little trees. You can see they're loaded up on that tractor there because I think it's time that we add in our little stream through here. We have a lot of money right now. Um, let me make sure we're actually on the right farm. I'm sure we are, but because we've made a lot of money. Yes, a lot of money. Uh, so yes. We have our money for our, our we'll want to do some upgrades, hopefully. So I want to put our stream in um, again, I think. So kind of some of the stuff we've talked about in the past. Um, again, we're going to put a field here. This is going to be like our silage field. We'll have some fermenters and some sheds over here. So this will be like a silage field area. Maybe we can put some of that stuff over here if need be. Uh, obviously, that's our main road in. Um, so this, I think I want the river just to kind of cut straight across there and then head out, like maybe make a kind of a hard not a hard right but a little bit harder right here or maybe even down there so you have a little bit more space here but kind of you can see where i cut all the trees down so it kind of work its way along there and then into there so i think that's where i kind of want it to go um in terms of that this field get extended out um and probably down to like here ish and then here i don't know what we're going to do here we might even put like a grass field um just in case we need grass i know we talked about doing that that's probably what we'll put in there um this will all be for storage through here and then these fields will get extended out and we'll leave all this open for in case we want to do stuff. And then again, this will be our silage area. We'll have an area for grass and then animal pens probably over here if we want to do some animal pens. And then all this in the center will be cleared out for storage. Um, and then obviously we're going to do big fields and stuff all up here. So there's our big field there. Uh, but that's kind of our plan. So I think we start executing some of the this plan. Um, this is going to be a lot of money. So I actually, what I am going to do is I'm going to save right now. And since we have to pay for this out of our pocket, and I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to go ahead and go for it. So it's going to be very expensive. Uh, we'll, we'll start with a smooth or a, land, or it's a flat texture, um, and then we'll kind of adjust from there as needed. I don't want it to be super wide. I think just about just a small stream. We can always make it a little wider, which we probably will do. Um, and yeah, we want it to just kind of go down over there. So let's come back over here, make sure we're on the right plane, kind of open that up a little bit. So far, we're not doing too bad in terms of money, actually. It's not costing nearly as much as I thought it might. A little scared about it. And yeah, we want to just kind of head straight across this road. We'll have to put a bridge in here, but it'll all look good. That's about the width I want. This is going to curve over here. It's going to get a little more expensive over here. It's a little bit steeper. We got to go down. Okay. Yep. And just right along this, I think. I don't want to get too close to that. I actually would rather be closer, but I think that's going to jack the price up too much if we go over there. Just like this. Make that about as wide as it should be. Through there. Okay. And then I think we just kind of curve out and head out this way. Now, this tree right here is not on our property. So out about here. We are not going to pay for it anymore. I'm going to finish it, but we're going to stop paying for it at that point. Um, I think is I think that's fair. And we'll start heading the rest of the way out this way. Now, again, this isn't all the landscaping we're going to have to do in terms of this. So um, this isn't an all-encompassed fee that we're looking at paying right now. But out to about there. And then actually, you know, we will pay for all of it. We're just going to make this like a little kind of retention pond area for now. We'll just do kind of that sort of thing. Um, let's make sure any of these areas we want to be a little wider or nice and wide. And I think that looks honestly pretty good all out and about. Let's actually hop out real quick. 
let's go into flight mode just so we can kind of get a nice view. Yeah, so that's perfect. And then what we have here is this zone right in front of us. Is That's plenty of space for the buildings I want to put in there. Um, and this, yeah, this works right along there. And curves along into here. We can put a bridge there and we can have our grass field up there. And this is all for storage here. This is great. I think this is great. So, yeah, I like the way that turned out. Um, now we need to paint the river bottom here. Well, actually, let's do... Let's go back to sculpting for a second. Let's do soften. And let's make this pretty wide. I like this to feel as natural as possible. Slowly work our way down the middle. Kind of give it that more natural appeal and look to it. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, it looks great. So if we are able to do this for a hundred, even if we're still, I mean, if we can do this for $200,000. I think that's a good deal for us. So I know this has been pricey, but it's honestly not been anywhere near as pricey as I thought it would be. I thought it would be almost, I thought it would be probably two or 300 in the hole after doing this. So honestly, we're doing really good in terms of that. Giving this a little bit of a slow process here to do this. And we haven't done any painting yet, which is going to be a big part of it. Extra smooth and all that through there. Nice. Okay. And yeah, and then a little bit more around here. Okay. I like that. Now, if we go to painting, um, probably at the very bottom, we probably want like a mud texture. Yeah, that looks good for like the very bottom. Um, and then we'll do some dirt rising out of that probably. I'm kind of shocked this is actually dirt in here and not mud. Because the mud, I think, I think fits better. Maybe just have it just a hair sticking out on the edges. There we go. Oop, there we go. Get a little more through there. I apologize. This is probably going to be a, a good portion of the episode is doing a, a nice upgrade here. Um, this will probably be a little bit longer episode. Maybe we'll see. But uh, I think this is important for our farm. So I want to make sure we do this. Still doing really good on cash, keeping an eye on that. Um, okay, and then around the like absolute edges, we want maybe a little bit more of this kind of dirt. Just kind of more along. Just something like that. I don't want it to connect up with that road. Oh, that's perfect. It looks like a stream bed and everything. There we go. We don't need a ton of decoration around it. It's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, this through here will probably will scale that back a little bit in terms of the grass. Uh, and I want this. I actually want this whole road to be far enough away that it's not going to be affected by it. So we maybe not quite that wide. We actually might just make this all. Let's just make this all uh, grass. And then we can uh, adjust it as we want to in the future. I'm not sure where I want our roads to go and anything like that yet. So I think this is just best for now to just kind of alleviate that road from the picture. Um, let's go back to our dirt. Finish up our kind of our edge. Almost back to the main pond here. Well, well, we're honestly in here. Let's just fix this. Well, make that look more normal. I've been uh, a little bit busy with life and such like that. I went to PAX East. PAX East. Good Lord, if I could talk. And then as soon as I got back, I went in for a surgery so I'm currently recovering from that surgery so the first day I felt good enough to record so I'm pretty happy about that but uh yeah so there we go I think that looks uh pretty legit let's hop out of there real quick take a look around yeah that looks great 
That tree looks like it's in the water, but that's okay. We'll deal with that later. Um, yeah, this is fabulous. I like this. Um, obviously, we need some bridges and stuff to go across. We need to put some grass in. So let's put some grass in. Let's find the... I think this matches-ish. I think it's actually a slightly different grass, which is uh, semi-frustrating. But that's okay. This is honestly going to be one of the most expensive parts of this project. Let's put this grass in. Hate that it doesn't match all the other grass on the map. But not a lot I can do about that. And there went a lot of our money right there for our, our budget, which is wild. I need to get that out there. Let's go back to painting. Paint that over with some grass. There's a couple other areas. Let's get these guys painted over. There we go. Okay, and let's go back to plants let's get some those areas doesn't quite match the rest of the grass again so it's not gonna look the best but here we go more of that coming through here okay I think that looks quite nice. Let's put some grass here just for posterity. And voila! That is beautiful. Now we just need uh, to go under here. And we need to find the bridges, which are going to be pretty far back. But that's okay. We will find some good bridges in here. Um, let's see. I think we're getting closer. The water plane. Bridges should be, there's one of them. Again, that one's gonna be a nice, really small bridge. So I don't want that one per se. Um, that's that's a, that's a nice bridge, but that's not what we're looking for. This is closer, getting a little bit bigger. Okay, that one actually can make it across there, but that's not gonna be wide enough for big equipment. Okay. There are definitely some... Now, again, we could do a crazy-looking log bridge. I don't think that really fits with what we're going for. I really like that one. We might come back for that one. Um, that's a really nice plank bridge there. Now, I know I said I like that one that's... Ooh, that's a little too big. Uh, I like that one that's kind of covered, um, and I do like that one a lot. That one's nice, too, but I do think that log bridge would be nice. So this is the one I like that I like a lot, but it's a little narrow. So I'm thinking in terms of that, it'll probably have to go over there. So we'll come back for that one. And I think that's our bridges because those are just longer bridges. Oh, we do have, oh, this is the big concrete one. That one looks pretty ugly. I think we're going to go back and get that, uh, that wooden one. I don't think there's any others up here. Oh, there's another metal one, but that's not what we're looking for. Yeah, I think we're going to go back and get that wooden one. So let's go back and take a look at that. That would be back. I believe this is the one. Yes, yeah, so I, I like this bridge a lot. I think this bridge kind of really fits into what we're doing here. I think if we put that right there, I think that is a perfect bridge for this area right here, this part of our farm, because wide stuff can fit across that and everything like that. And then this bridge right here, this really nifty one. Now our property ends, it's kind of hard to tell. It's like, again, that's outside of it. Um, and then in terms of this, we're going to have to flatten some of this out to put stuff on. So this is strictly going to be if we need to drive out this way. We're probably not going to really use this very much. So I think if we are able to, that's so low to the ground. A little worried about that. It's pretty low to the ground. If I get too deep, we're going to be in the water there. So that one's a little trickier. Um, we might actually need to do a little landscaping before we put that one in. I don't think that's going to look great. Um, I'd like it to be a little higher up, I think. So um, now we know we want it to be about here, probably. Do some flattening. So up here is probably about... Oh, we don't need it to be bigger, just more intense. So up here is about where... We can probably get a little bit... Better in terms of that. Straight across there. 
also can get a little bit further up. Okay. Now I don't know what that's going to fix, and I guarantee those are not at the same level. They might actually be pretty close. Uh, but we'll see how that looks. Let's go others. Of course, it reset me back. Thankfully, I remember that that bridge is $1,500, so I can just hopefully scroll quickly to the $1,500 items, which, by the way, if you always are looking for something in here, write down the price and what the item is, you know, what you're looking for and where you're going to find it in here, because that is extremely helpful. Um, oh, that's so much better. That is so much better. I think that'll work really good right there. Okay. Yeah, I like that a lot better than it could have been. Um, it definitely doesn't look as good as I would have wanted it maybe to look, but... Uh, I will take that. And I think we can still do a little bit of working around. Yeah. Yeah, we can still do get rid of some of that stuff in there. Oh, actually, we want that up actually a little bit. That was the edge. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's smooth it again here. Ooh, we want it off of that, like that height. That could be bumpy. Let's get over here. Let's just go take a look at it. Oop, I'm all turned around now. Yep, so what have we done this episode in the first 15 minutes? Well, we tried to put a couple bridges in. That's not too bad, honestly. And then if we can get rid of these, uh yeah, that's actually gonna be just just fine. That looks great. So it doesn't look great maybe down below, but that's it's great. As great as we're gonna get, I think this is gonna work for us. So uh, let's go back into landscaping mode here. Painting. It's going to be a dirt path. We can probably get more of that turn grass out of there. Uh, maybe There we go. I didn't get that little part there, but that's okay. And this into there. There we go. I think that'll work. And then this will be our nice little area for our fermenters and stuff like that, which I may do some of that off camera just because I spent so much time doing this. So in the meantime, my goal this episode is to, I want to try to harvest some of this. I I know we're working on upgrading our stuff down here and I want to get like a forage harvester and do that and have this be like a, you know, a cornfield with its own set of equipment down here. I think we're pretty far off of that probably. Um, what I will say is, well, yeah, we're just pretty far off. I think we're just keep running our silage operation maybe for this year and the next year as well. So I'm going to keep doing our silage and then obviously we have our, uh, what do we have growing? Barley, right? Yes, our barley is growing, so I'm going to harvest all of our barley. We might actually just do another barley harvest just because we're going to do pretty good off of flour. So, And then I'll keep taking care of our animals and doing that sort of thing. Um, and maybe we'll add some businesses in. So, yeah, I'll keep working on that stuff, and I'll see you guys here. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later on. All right, welcome back, everyone. So our barley is ready to harvest. In the meantime, I did a silage harvest and took care of our animals. And our money has gone down quite a bit. <laughs> and I want to apologize ahead of time for this uh this might be the thumbnail we got ourselves some new equipment look at this <laughs> uh, this is our new three hundred thousand dollar total setup here um this is they're both on sale for over half off so i couldn't really resist a 36 meter direct drill planter and a versatile so instead of our old crappy tractor that we had over there i got rid of that well we haven't sold it yet but it's up at the shop we'll go sell it in a second i decided this would be worthwhile for us um and honestly, why did I do it? Well, are we have plenty of harvesters. Our harvesters keep up, even if we have a lot more fields. Honestly, they can keep up pretty well because we have two big harvesters or medium-sized harvesters. Say so we have two medium harvesters. So now we have a large planting setup, which will make things planting easier. Now, eventually, yes, the only other upgrade, and actually another one, this is the same one we have. Another one came on for sale as well, which cracks me up. Uh, but uh, yeah, so planter-wise, we're going to sell this guy off. We're just gonna load to this one. There's, I mean, it's it's a hundred dollar or it's a thousand fourteen hundred dollar planter. Actually, you know what? Oh man, we're actually gonna hold on to this. Oh gosh, I was gonna sell it. We're gonna hold on to it. I might just reset it back down here, but we are gonna sell our and I'll explain why. The reason being, we're gonna hold on to that planter as well. I'll let that save there, is because when we eventually get our setup over here that does silage, I want that planter over here so we can quickly plant this field and then park it back over there. So that's what I want that planter for. So actually, we're going to keep that planter. Um, yeah, we're going to keep that planter. So I apologize. That's going to get, not get us as much money back. That's okay. We are going to sell that absolute garbage tractor that we have. Oh, it's not even, is it just a medium tractor? 
Oh, how embarrassing. We're going to sell this guy right here. It doesn't have quite enough horsepower anyways, and it's it just is garbage for us. It doesn't work well. Uh, so let's hop up over to the shop. We'll just jump up there. Uh, I put this guy over here, which we're now going to keep the planter since I've decided to keep that. But we are going to get rid of the tractor because it does drive me crazy. Uh, we'll repair it. And then we'll repaint it. That always gets us the money back there. And we'll sell that guy. And then this guy, we're not going to... Well, actually, we will repair it. Might as well while it's sitting here in the shop. But uh, let's go ahead and we're going to reset it back here. I'm not, I'm not going to drive it back all the way over here. Just because I just did that. So I'm just going to cheat a little bit here. Slightly, kind of-ish. Uh, we're going to reset that. Now, I think it's actually going to be empty, though. It's a problem. I don't know what it had in it before. It might be out. It's probably, yeah, I mean, I emptied it. No, that's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So, yeah, we have this new setup. It's pretty sweet. This thing runs great. Um, I did spring for some duels on it. That was the only upgrade I did to it when I was buying it. Um, we can put more horsepower in it. Um, right now, it has 583. I think we can get it up to 685 for, like, an extra 30 grand. So, that's really not a big deal if we wanted to upgrade that further. So, I think that that's going to be a really good tractor for us long term. Um, we're going to, I mean, yeah, we're going to, it's only got 30 hours on it, which, how much does that other one have on it that's on sale right now? 86, darn them. They, they, 665, so that's where it maxed out. Oh, that was probably, this one's probably, uh, actually, I think this one's more expensive anyways. I can't remember what I paid for the other one, but it was around that. So regardless of that, we're stuck with this one. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to get the harvest done, and then, well, I mean, that might be where we end it, I think. Um, we got some more stuff sold, not sold off. We got some more stuff done. Obviously, I got all the, I got all the trees cleared from over here. So this is ready to be plowed in. That'll probably be what we're going to do at the beginning of next episode is maybe put a field in over there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get our barley harvested up here. And then I'll bring you guys back in after we're done harvesting the barley. And then uh, we'll probably wrap up the episode at that point just to kind of see where we're at. And then we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right. The barley harvest is over. And we got, oh gosh, I'm going to do some quick math. 125,471 liters off of our, oh, not a lot of save there, off of this field, this field, and this field. Next episode, so the thumbnail is probably going to be our new equipment because it's pretty awesome, but next episode, since we're getting ready to wrap this one up, our plan. Right now, it's beautiful time to expand fields because all of them need lime. This field's going to go away. We're going to eliminate this field. This one's going to get extended out here to as far as we want to go, so we're going to extend that one out. Then we're going to lime the whole field. This one's going to get extended across here down and i think we're gonna go down to about here ish maybe 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 like around here i don't want to go past that so i have to go around that but i don't mind going to like there and getting like that area kind of uh squared away so i think we'll do that and that should still leave room for a decent size uh grass field here and then yeah we'll have to look at how we want vehicles to get over into here because i do want to use this space for something so i need some sort of road that goes over there uh so we'll figure that out once we get there uh we could also put an exit off the highway i guess but um, yeah, and then once we get those fields all set up, then we'll, we might even add the field down here. Uh, we just won't be able to use it yet. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to keep rocking and rolling from there. So we are slowly upgrading and doing our thing. Um, I don't know where we're going to go next after we develop all this, but um, yeah, we're not going to get too much bigger, honestly, because this is going to be a lot for us to manage. So we may grab another six. We may, may actually double in size again, to be, to be completely honest, because right now we have this section here. There's a good chance we will buy... This chunk of land here, and these these two chunks of oh, we already on that one. These two chunks of land here is a good chance we'll buy those, um, and then maybe these three up here, and then that might be it. We'll kind of see how it goes. Um, how I'm going to extend this field out? I already got this guy set up over there, good to go. Uh, we're going to extend this field out all the way down around to however we want to go to. Which actually we should probably um, maybe do a little painting to decide how far we want to go. Honestly, before we even do that, we need to put our roads in. Let's do that um at least decide where we want roads to be um this one can be a little bit it's about the width we want this one needs to be a little wider there we go okay this one's fine um there will be a road that goes along here so not super close to the river Close enough, I guess. So I want to come extend this field as well. There we go. Okay. And then that'll be where we have our little setup over there. 
Perfect. Now, trick is going to be where I want roads to be here and where I want fields and stuff. I, I, uh, I, I do want, obviously, I want our grass field to be in here somewhere. We need to decide where we're going to come over the top of this. I think this is probably our best bet. Let's hop out of this. Let's get into flight mode. I think we got to do a little bit of recon here. So, um, yeah, because we just need to kind of be able to decide where... Obviously, we're going to go out to the edge of the map. Or uh, edge of our land, I should say. Yeah, I don't think we can get down over here because of where... I think that's going to be... Oh, actually, that is kind of... That is inside. I actually think that is... Oh, maybe it's not. No, it's not quite. Yeah, but this is right like where the edge is. So we would be a little bit outside of our property if we went over that way. Um... Though, to be fair, that makes the most sense to drive around there instead of go over the top of that. How much is that chunk of land? Uh, that's that. Yeah, that one right there. Uh, oh, it's 46% more. Well, we might temporarily put the... Well, see, it's like right on the edge. So we might actually put the road in there for now, and then we'll know we're going to buy that later on. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just do that. So, yeah, I think that's where the road's going to go. Um, so now just to determine... I think it's going to just shoot... I think we just have it go right across here. Well, I kind of want... I don't want this to be squared off, I guess. So um, maybe we come out this way and then we can go down over that way and then leave room for the grass field here. Or we could just... We could honestly just move it around there, but I also want a road dividing these two fields. Let's just see what happens, you know? Worst that could happen is it looks terrible. Um, that honestly is the worst, and I would be upset about it. But not... I mean, not really, but... Um, let's see here. Let's do... Okay, and then, yeah, right along here makes sense. Okay. And then I think, we start getting close here, I think we have to, we might even have like a little kind of dead area here. Actually, I think this can work its way along here. That'll be fine. I want that to go straight across there. Yep. And then that'll be kind of the edge of the field. Just right along here. And then this will be kind of the connection there. Something like that. We might we might smooth that out a little bit more, but that's kind of a good edge for us, I think. So there we go. We're going to make this all one big field over there. We'll kind of curve it around and we'll bring it up to here. We're not going to farm any of that little area right there. Um, and then we also can expand this field out. And this field um, is going to get painted over at some point. Um, I don't know what we're going to put here, but I, I do think it's time that this uh, goes away as a field. So for now, I'm not going to plant any grass on it. I'm just going to put this over it just so we know it's no longer field material for us anymore. Basically effectively killing off one of our fields, which is okay. It also is costing us a little bit, and I don't know what's going to go here, so I'm probably going to end up painting over this anyways, but... Just for me visually, so I just can kind of start keep track of what we're doing. I might start putting our silage bales over there as well. No, I know I put them over there. Is that one that rolled into the river? You gotta be kidding me. One rolled into our river. That's okay. Uh, so there we go. Okay. I'm gonna probably do a time lapse, I think, of me getting this done. And that'll probably be that. Let's hop in there. Um, and get this started. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit.
So I just want to bring you guys back in for an update. I'm working on our what's going to be our silage field. So let's go ahead and let's get into flight mode here. I think this is just going to help. So I'm getting this field put in. I took out those power poles that were here because I think they're just a little bit in the way. Uh, so this will go loop around there and then head across that way. Um, I don't think we'll put a road in on this side. I don't think we need one. So I think we'll keep going down this way. And then this will be a big field here. And we're going to do silage harvest there. Uh, hopefully with like corn and do chaff sort of thing. So uh, that's the long term gold there. Um, now we have two grass fields here. Now I did say we do one. Now the reason this one's kind of weird, it doesn't quite line up there and it just kind of seems odd is this is the best I could do in here that would still allow workers to go effectively up and down this angle. So this is a 45 degree angle and that's where workers are able to go up and down. If I had it even with that and just shifted, you know, kind of over so the line maybe came up here and was a little bit different, the workers would not be able to handle it very well. So that's the reason for that. And then there was plenty of room, so I just put a second field in. I don't know, we're gonna do this little triangle of space here. And I don't even know if we're gonna put grass in both of these. We probably are. I think we'll both be grass. And again, we're not gonna just do regular grass harvest all the time, per se. Um, it's most, well, honestly, that's the thing too, is I think maybe we just do one because we're just gonna need hay and stuff. Well, you know, I think we just do both of them and then we're just not gonna use them all the time. And then maybe in this space here, we can park our grass equipment. Honestly, that's a terrible idea as well because this is going to be in the way of the workers then. But uh, we'll figure out something to do with this space. Even if we have to cut maybe some of this field off. I don't know. This, this does seem like just a good spot for our stuff to be. But at the same time, I think it's going to get in the way with the workers working up and down. They can't go up and down that way because they're going to run into that. So they have to go up and down this way. Um, See, so yeah, I think that this is just gonna that's just gonna be in the way. So this might just be like a, a gravel lot. Maybe we park some stuff here, but I don't really like the idea of not having a shed. We could try to get something pretty close to um, in the middle, and I think that would actually work pretty well. So we might do that. Uh, but this field is absolutely massive now. Um, this is gonna be a great year for us. And up there, up in the upper right hand corner, you can see that our it shows that we're in year 17. That's I can't remember the name of it, but that's the enhanced something or other menu something thing. But uh, yeah, so everything's looking good from up here, I think. Um, I'm pretty happy with how the farm is kind of going. So uh, we'll start doing some more building upgrades. You know, I see we have plenty of space to park stuff in here. Um, and even with this getting all torn down at some point, we'll have plenty of stuff. We'll probably get it all reorganized in here. Um, that'll probably be a big uh, purchase thing. So we'll probably wait till we have probably close to a million dollars uh, to, to really be able to redo this. Um, and do all that. So we'll, we'll still be working with kind of our bare bones setup here, with which is what we got now. And then uh, this for now, the grass, is, we're gonna keep harvesting grass off of this for the rest of this year. Um, this episode, I actually probably will come out here and see if I can't extend this field out um, the rest of the way. And then, uh, well, maybe we'll wait until winter time to do that. So that way we don't have to worry about uh, competing with it. So I know that most of this episode, I mean, our farm looks ridiculously awesome now. I mean, this is coming together really nice. I think this is a really good chunk of land in here for us to be able to use for storage and everything like that. I like the fact that our house is out there by the road. And then again, this is gonna be big. And I do have, we're out there picking stones. I have the stone picker out there working uh, so we can get some of that done. And then eventually we'll get, this will actually probably be our next upgrade is getting this section over here done. So we can start working on getting our regular silage harvest done because for us, silage is a large source of income. So we'll probably still continue to mow and do silage off of these two fields 
probably every year anyway. It's just because it's such a huge, uh, such a huge income for us. Um, well, actually, honestly, instead of parking the grass stuff over there, we could just put like a, if we smooth some of this out, like push that back, we could park them right here. We could put a shed right there and that would be perfect right next to the grass. Um, we could even put it right here and then have it angled towards there. Um, that actually might be a really good idea just to kind of uh, ease that a little bit. And again, this can just stay grass because it'll kind of all blend in when this whole thing's grass um, at some point anyways. And then obviously arable field, arable field in the back. And this is a big arable field here, which now is much larger as well. And then our silage field will be right here, which is great. And again, by silage field, I mean, this is where we're just going to plant corn, silage it, corn it, silage it, and all that sort of stuff. And we probably are going to start doing some fermenting silos. And I don't actually know if they're going to go over here. That's kind of the plan. Um, they, I, they probably should go over here, honestly, because we have a lot of good space over here to use for that. Uh, well, actually, we don't have a lot of space because this is kind of our property edge right here. So this kind of goes along here and then the field will start here. So we'll see how much space is left after we get the field in. Uh, but we may put the fermenting silos. Uh, we may put them right in this area even. Um, that might actually be OK as well. Put them right in there. Um, I kind of want them equidistant between this field and, and these fields, though, so maybe Maybe even we do put them right here and we put them as part of our setup over here. We're just going to kind of see what uh, fermenting silo we're going to use. But yeah, again, we're going to start, I think, fermenting our grass as well as, um, yeah, we're going to start, I think, fermenting the grass and the corn chaff that we make into silage and then hauling it bulk off to market. Uh, I think that's just going to be better. And then we'll sell our baler off. So we'll actually, we'll probably hold on to the baler, to be honest, just because we might as well hold on to it and hold on to all of our grass equipment, just kind of park them in a shed. So... Um, that'll probably be next episode though. So I'm going to finish getting these fields done, get all the stones picked off them. And then I'll probably bring you guys back in after that. And we'll kind of see what we're looking like, looking at in terms of time. We'll probably uh, add a couple new businesses into the town. And then I think we'll wrap up the episode there. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit after I get some more of this done. All right. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. It has been a long time. I've gotten, uh, it feels like I haven't gotten a lot done, but I've gotten a lot done on the farm. Um, we probably won't actually add any businesses in just because I've been spending, oh gosh, I probably already spent three or four hours working on this episode alone doing stuff off camera. But what have I done? Well, I just finished removing all of the rocks from our new fields. Our fields are all in. You can see we got our silage field here. This field's been extended. I didn't even bother with this field. That'll be a future episode. Um, and we have this field obviously all taken care of. Um, so yeah, you can see that none of them need lime anymore. I just finished up all the lime. Um, and I'm going to get ready to fertilize some. And then I did plant grass in these two fields. So I'm going to just clean up the fertilization on that as well. And then, yeah, just throw a layer of fertilizer on everything before I think we wrap it up there. Uh, but, uh, I did buy, I bought 50,000 liters of lime here in our silo. I used all of it. And then I bought an additional 50,000 liters and used some of that. So I spent about $24,000 on lime. And then we also needed more fertilizer because um, we were running low and I wanted to go do all the fertilizing. So I bought 10,000 liters of fertilizer, which obviously cost us like 20 grand or something like that. So uh, I have spent a lot of money on various things, but it's okay. We're doing good. We're getting stuff done. So um, yeah, I'm just going to, I think, rock and roll and try to get all this stuff fertilized. And then we'll probably wrap up the episode there. I know it doesn't seem like we did a lot, but honestly, we got a lot of stuff done on the farm um, since we started. And actually, I'm going to start out on the field that this is currently uh the front field over here where this the gps is currently set to so it's just a little bit easier i think in terms of that uh but yeah gps by the way great mod if you haven't uh don't know about it i do have a video out on how to use it um, i recommend checking that out uh, but a couple other things as well um i should be getting back into live streaming starting next week i'm still recovering from my surgery so um i've finally been able to play the game the last uh, day or two before i and I, get, I actually go back to work tomorrow on light duty um, desk duty, so I can't do patrol work yet. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're getting stuff done um, and things are going good, I suppose. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep just rocking and rolling and see if I can't get some of this done here. And I think is it geared up to this side? Yeah, it is. So we'll just uh, lock GPS on and then, ooh, it's not at the full width. We'll need to fix that. There we go. And perfect. And we shouldn't run out of fertilizer as fast as we ran out of lime. Literally one tank of lime in this thing went, I mean, it was quick. 3,200 liters went away in less than a minute. So it was it was often we had to fill up with lime. It should be a way less often we'll have to fill up with solid fertilizer, which is really nice. But um, yeah, I think before we honestly do 
Actually, that's the one thing we can talk about real quick. And then in terms of upgrades and stuff like that, uh, what do we have leased? So oh, we actually have no items leased. So we own all of our equipment, which is really nice because we are probably going to, things we need to be kind of in the market for, I'll be honest. Um, we don't need a second burst style, as fun as that would be. <laughs> we probably don't need one, at least not right now. Um, okay, he's still moving. I thought he wasn't moving for a second. But uh, if we go into the store again here, um, well, my cat is making noise over next to me. But uh, yeah, let's just stop this guy here in a second so I don't waste any fertilizer. I can do all that stuff off camera. You guys have seen me fertilize before. Uh, things we need to probably purchase. So uh, cedar, we need to get a bigger cedar. Our biggest cedar is this guy, or our, our only cedar is this guy right here. Six meters is not, or 5.2, not even six meters. Is, uh, it's not enough for uh, doing our fields. And we really want probably a direct drill. So as we work our way up here, this is like kind of the next big direct drill, and that's nine meters. That's not great, but that's not terrible. How much is that one? That's, that one's nine meters as well. How oh, is that one? Oh, because it goes out on the sides. Oh, that's interesting. So that, that one is nine meters. That one looks like a bit of a pain probably to deal with. So um, yeah, we have this guy, nine meters. Those are both those are both sixes. Um, or we have, well, that guy's not a direct drill. Okay, it's only eight meters. And that's just that's part of the seed cart there. Not a direct drill. This is a direct drill, but tw oh, 12 meters. Okay. Um, so there's a direct drill that's 12 meters. So that's not the worst case scenario there. Um, we have plenty of horsepower to pull it because we have our versatile now. So that's not an issue, thankfully. Uh, so yeah, that, that could be an option there. Eight meters. Is this not a direct drill? This one's a direct drill. We could, honestly, we, we probably should just jump straight up to something really big like one of these guys um, and, a, and a seed tank. We don't have to necessarily go all the way out, but maybe the seed hawk, that's 225 plus the seed hawk's tank. 150 so we're looking at what 375 for that that's honestly not too bad uh but, but i think our next purchase before we even do that is we need to get our fermenting operation up and running so um we're going to need to look at uh probably we'll probably lease these guys to start and then uh make payments on them and then we can buy the cedar later because in the meantime what we can do thankfully if we go to our garage here is we can use um this guy and this guy to plant uh soybeans and those both yeah all, all those do soybeans so we can do soybeans for now which is fine or sunflowers honestly is fine too uh soy is probably better for our header setup so we probably are just going to keep cooking along um doing soybeans yeah starting next year obviously we had to wait to here to harvest our barley so we could uh, i don't really want to that's gonna be too much of a pain i think we just let the fields rest for the rest of the year give them a break and then we do soy next year we could do some barley but again we don't have really a cedar for it um, and then this field is going to be constantly getting corn on it uh, because that's where it's that's what's just going to have to happen for that one. So we'll probably end up having to buy another plow to sit down here just to kind of run for this. Um, and then another stone picker to sit here. And then those ones will be for the main fields and those ones need plowed. Um, we can use them. All. Obviously, we can use what we have now permanently for everything while we're getting all that set up. But yeah, I think I think on that note, I'm going to get this done. Uh, but I think we'll wrap up the episode there. I think we've gotten a lot done. We talked about a lot of different things. I know a lot of talk about buying stuff and everything like that, but I want you guys to be aware of what our plans are uh, and everything like that. But we did add a lot of fields, and I think that's going to increase our income quite a bit. So, so if you guys um, what we have accomplished so far, if you have not seen this, let's just do, we just, I think, have to do kind of a recap here of everything we've done. So we started off with a little field here, which I've actually recently paved over with grass, basically. Um, and then we slowly built up our farm. So now we have this going on. We're slowly clearing out uh, trees and stuff that are on our land and doing all that. But last episode, we really expanded our fields out and everything like that. And I don't think they're probably for fertilization. So not great through those ones, but we can fix that up as we get going. Um, does anyone need lime? No one needs lime, which is great. No one needs plowing. So that stuff's taken care of at least. And then we have grass growing in these two fields. And then it's almost ready to harvest here, basically. Um, it needs one more state and then we will be good to go. Um, so we get the most out of it, but, uh, yeah, so then we have horses here, chickens here. We'll keep doing chickens. Horses eventually we're going to get rid of, we have a small sawmill there. We have storages through here, uh, lime production there from our stones. Um, down here, we have a small firm production building right there. It's making us some oatmeal right now. Um, and this guy back here is making us barley, uh, or barley flour, sorry, barley flour. There we go. And then we have some big fields that this, I mean, they just need to be, uh, planted and all that. We have an our field out here. This one eventually is going to be corn. We're going to do silage harvest on this one every year. But the fermenting silo will probably get that set up over here at some point. We don't really have the cash to get that going yet. So um, this field for now, we're probably actually just going to throw regular crops in it. So 
Um, that's what we're gonna do. And then these two will be grass. And then this one is gonna get regular crops in it as soon as we get this grass that's on it now harvested off of it. Um, that's what we're gonna do. And I wanna expand this field out as well. Um, I'd like to bring this field, there's obviously some trees that get out of the way. I'd like to bring it down to here, up and over and across. So we might ignore this half for now and just bring it up and then across to start. Um, that might be what we start with. So what we're gonna do in terms of our fields this year, um, we're gonna plant barley on this field right here in September of this year when we're ready to go. And then next year, we're gonna wait until next year to plant the rest of the fields. This one's gonna get soy. And I think we'll also do soy over here in this one. So we'll do just kind of like a kind of a cash crop there. Well, actually, yeah, that's probably what we should do. We could also plant canola um, and then do canola harvest next year. But then it kind of puts us out of position to do anything else on those fields, which is fine for now, um, I suppose. So we could do canola. Um, what's the canola versus soy prices? We get our best prices here. 722 versus 1135. I mean, yeah, let's just do soy on all of it, I think. Uh, I think we get a little bit more canola because you have to wait longer. Canola should be a little bit better yield of a crop. But uh, yeah, so what we own land-wise, um, ignore all the rest of this. This is the town and other farms. We own these chunks of land here. Oops. Yeah, so we own yeah these chunks of land here. So um, this, obviously, we can do more field stuff here. But I think this year I'd like to get this field up and over and across. And that'd be another big field that we can run. Uh, so that's kind of what we have going on there. Um, in storage right now, we have 100,000 liters of barley, 42,000 liters of sorghum, plus, I mean, just other miscellaneous products um, and stuff like that. But uh, those are the main things that we have um, going for us. Um, if we go down through here, um, actually, we could look at this. This shows us everything we pretty much have. Um, obviously, a lot, some of these are in our production facilities or in our animal pens and stuff like that. Um, where is all that silage? Oh, the biogas plant. We sold all that off. We don't own that biogas plant, so that's no longer ours. I know it says it's ours, but we, we have sold it. So um, it should be processing out and disappear um, for us, and it shouldn't be paying us for it anymore. As we go down through here, we have some equipment that's in rough shape. We have a lot of equipment. We'll take a look at in the garage here in a second, in case you've never been on this series. Um, through here, obviously, we don't have any loans or anything like that. $75,000 in the bank. We have four horses. Once these four horses are raised, we're going to sell them off and be done with horses. Um, there's no contracts in this map. So yeah, we have for production buildings, we have our oatmeal getting produced into our oats getting produced into oatmeal, which is great. Um, I don't think we're going to run this production facility actually anymore after that. We're probably going to sell it off as well. Uh, planks, we're slowly processing our wood into planks, which we have a lot of money in planks sitting there. Um, stone to lime, all that good stuff. Barley into barley flour, which is great. Eventually, I do want to get a bigger production building um, that does that probably. But uh, yeah, so we're doing really good for now. Um, everything is rocking and rolling. Um, what we do want to do though, let's take a look. So we have a lot of mods installed in this series. We have uh, several tractors. I'm just going to take a look because that's been a while since I've seen our equipment since I haven't loaded up in this game save in a long time. I'm just going to kind of go through each category. A lot of the stuff we've bought used, of course, as well. A couple harvesters. Some of the stuff we have, uh, oh, we actually don't have anything leased. We bought it all, which is great because uh, we do have lease to own. So if we had anything leased, we could lease to own it. Uh, cars, pickup truck. We got some trailers in here. Uh, headers for our harvesters, of course. Corn headers, big old stone picker, plow, cedar. We should get a bigger cedar, quite honestly. This one's nice because it does soybeans. So that's why we're going to do probably some soybean. Uh, this one also does soybean. These are both direct drills. Yeah. What is the size difference in these guys? Oh, that one's 36.5 meters. That one's quite a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, so all these planters are great. But so that's actually probably better we do that anyways because to plant barley, we will have to use this guy right here, which is going to be a bit of a pain. So um that's actually probably good we're not doing too crazy on the barley um we do have a big old sprayer in here because i believe we have weeds on uh melissa the lime or fertilizer which is great uh, we have a nice mower setup which we've been using header there uh windrower bale wrapper bale loader we have a chainsaw and down through here we have a uh, stump grinder wood trailer which is great uh, for animals we have a water tanker there we have an animal trailer uh, front loader attachments for a couple of our vehicles and then some front loader tools we have a low loader we have um, a couple of weights in there and um, then we have our auto load pallet trailer there so a lot of equipment so that's what we're going to keep doing here um in terms of the meantime there's not really a lot we're going to do i might do a little bit of uh forestry uh kind of off camera but we're just going to kind of wait probably i'll probably actually do it here in a little bit we want to get this uh working on getting this harvested and good to go here so I'll probably bring you guys back in, quite honestly, when it is time to uh, get some stuff planted. But actually, the other thing we should show off here as well, um, if we go down here, this is where our farm ends right here. We have a nice highway that runs along here, some equipment out there. 
Um, we have a BGA that's new. Sorry, it's going to take a little bit of time for it all to kind of render in a little bit. Gas station up here. There's some houses, some cabins and stuff. And a nice little lake extraordinaire up here. And we planted all these trees by hand. We planted all these trees. We have fish farm up there. So I kind of really like this area. This area actually turned out really quite nice. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, yeah, that's very nice. And then this road eventually will connect up to the town. This road already does connect up to the town. Again, BGA here. Um, I think that's a purchase point right there. Yeah, purchase point. Um, and then out here we have kind of our main town as it kind of renders in here a little bit. So you have lots of businesses and all these businesses are subscriber owned as most of you guys know, um, which is really cool. If you have more business ideas, you can let me know down in the comments. However, I may not take any more. Um, there's quite a few I still have left to add in here, uh, but we got pretty much every, any number of businesses in here uh, pretty well set and good to go. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So we'll add some businesses, probably not this episode, but we will add some more businesses as we're going through. Then we have a couple other farmers, which these farms are actually subscriber owned up here. Um, bee farmer up here, which I, I love the concept of this right here. Those pallets look crazy down there though. Um, but yeah, and then we have another farmer out here because we used to own this farm, but we sold it off to a farmer. Um, and then obviously our main farm here, which is going great. So that's what we got going on. We own quite a bit of stuff. We're pretty successful in terms of farming right now. And we'll probably take this series out to about 100 episodes or so, maybe less than that. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep uh, cracking on and getting stuff done. Um, I'll see you guys when it is time to um, do something exciting. Probably when it's time to, I don't know. I don't even know. Probably when it's time to plant. But I'll give you guys an update here in a bit. So uh, I'm going to keep getting some work done around the farm and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, just to check in with you guys, the grass is going well. We've made it through into July here. The bales are much bigger. You may notice that. Um, I didn't even realize I could up the bale size um, with my new fancy harvester. Because you can't on the, or not fancy harvester, my new fancy baler. Because you can't on the other version of that baler, but the one that Mark Thor sent me, I can. So we're now using bigger bales, which again, we're still getting the same yield off the field per se, but we're just using bigger bales. So hopefully we have to pick less bales up, which is nice. Um, so yeah, we're getting things done. Everything's going well. Um, what else did I... Oh, we got some uh, flour... We got a full truckload of flour, so actually I'll show you that real quick. If we hop over here, I just set it off to the side here for now because it was a terrible price. So I put the flour out there, but uh, yeah, so I just again just wanted to check in with you guys and let you guys know where I was at. Things are going well. Um, I'm going to get all the fields planted and everything like that at least. Well, I guess the only one we're going to plant is actually I think you know what? I think we're just going to do all soy next year. I think we're just going to do also just a big massive soy harvest because I think we have plenty in storage of barley. Yeah, that should be plenty of barley. Well, I don't know, though. We always are. Yeah, we, we got to do a field of barley. I think it's just smart for us to do that. So um, we are going to do this field of barley and then this field, what I'm going to do off camera. And I might do a time lapse of it. So if you see a time lapse next, that's what it'll be of me expanding this field just up and over there. I'm just going to expand it out that way since there's still trees here. Um, and then this field is going to get just plowed under and that's going to be another field for us to um, grow crops on. So. Again, that's going to be the plan and everything like that. Um, these fields, we'll probably keep doing the just grass harvest on and stuff like that. As time goes on, I will probably start parking all my grass equipment somewhere over here, which actually, if you guys in here, let's go Let's go see if we can find a solution. I'm just speed up over here. Um, it would be nice to put like a shed out here, which I know we don't have a lot of, a lot of money per se. Um, not a ton of space out here for a shed either, which is kind of part of the, the tricky part here. We could flatten this out and give us a little bit more room over here. Take a little bit away from the uh, the pond area. That might be the play, actually. Well, that's, that could be an option. We also could... Honestly, we also could put stuff right here. Because we're going to put all the that equipment over there. So actually, that might be a good idea as well. We we're still going to have to do some landscaping. That might be a little bit expensive. Um, so if we want to smooth this into there... Yep, that costs us a fair penny. But there we go. Okay, so we can probably put something there. Let's smooth that out a little bit. Just to make it look more natural. There, so I think we can put... What we'll do for now, uh, since we don't have a ton of money, um, we'll just put like kind of a, a gravel lot over here. This will be where we are going to put a shed eventually. But for now, we'll just park all of our grass equipment right in that area right there, since we know that's where it's going to go. 
and it's right next to the fields that we need to work on. So that's what we'll do for that. But um, I'll keep working on stuff. If I do sell anything, I might sell some stuff off camera just because we have a lot of pallets and stuff and it takes a little bit of time to sell. Uh, if I do sell anything off camera, I'll write down how much we made from it and everything like that. So I'm going to keep working on stuff, get some stuff done. And I'll bring you back in probably sometime, probably honestly next year, maybe harvest time even after I get some stuff done. Because you guys have seen a lot of this. So we are making pretty good progress on the farm. But uh, also I'll bring you guys back in at some point. We may do a harvesting uh, time lapse if I don't do one of the field creations. So, because um, I think I did a field creation one last episode, which I know that episode was a while ago, but we'll kind of play it by ear. But anyhow, I'm going to keep working on stuff and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right. So, just a quick update. So, first off, we bought 10,000 liters of seeds. I just want to let you guys know why the money had gone down a little bit there. Uh, so, we have that. And in the meantime, we have. Harvested grass off of these fields and planted barley and now we have weeds of course out there I'll deal with those later but uh, on this field so this field this guy's waiting to fertilize it when it's ready to go which I actually think we can do today but this field is uh, planted with barley and then again we're going to plant soy here soy here soy here this field's been expanded out as you can see uh, so it looks good out there now this is just kind of where the train was rough so I went up that way and we'll bring it out eventually down excuse me across there so just like that um, but yeah. So no issues harvesting grass and getting silage off of that. But yeah, we'll do soy, soy, and then soy down here in this field. So we'll have a lot of soy. It's going to be a lot of soybeans for us, which is going to be really good. And of course, we'll get barley off of that. So we'll probably harvest it next episode. Uh, but um, I've noticed with this tractor, though it has a decent amount of horsepower, because um, this thing has... Uh, oh, maybe it's because it's so damaged. That also could be part of the issue. Oh, no. It's fine. It's not actually that... Okay. Yeah, the... Da damage is only only 19%. Okay, sorry, not at 19%. Okay, never mind. So yeah, that's not the issue. Uh, but uh, oh, why do I have super strength on? Oh, a pallet got stuck earlier. That's why I turned it on. There we go. Turn it back off. Okay, so anyhow, um, it doesn't really drive full speed, even though it has. Let me just give you an example. Of what one of the issues? Like for example, I had a plant with this cedar. The cedar should run at 11 miles an hour. It would not go faster than seven miles an hour. This thing only requires 60 horsepower. That case has um, 179. So it should have been no problem going that fast. So it just doesn't seem like the gear system quite works right in it. Um, so I think we're going to sell it off. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I think, yeah, we should repaint it. We'll get a little more. We're not going to get a lot off. I should not get anywhere near as much as I thought we'd get off of it. Oh, well, if we repair it and we sell it. All right, we're at 31,000. Now, the reason that matters is because I really want to buy this guy because that is a screaming deal, only 10 hours on it, and we can get this in, I think we do, well, we want the front attacher for sure. But yeah, the big engine, what's the 270? Is there a 276 or is it two? No, there's, yeah, there it is. Okay, maybe not that one, but the 249, that's what we've been getting is the 249, I think, on this guy. He has so many different engine configurations. Yeah, 249 is pretty good. Yeah, so if we go back to the 249, this thing right here is $64,000 to buy, um, and that has a really good amount of horsepower, 249. This tractor is very reliable, so I do really want to buy this tractor. Um, however, we don't have the money, so um, I'm just going to, we're going to have to uh, call banks and borrow a little bit of cash from them. So the banks of Banks and Sprague will give us a little bit of a loan there, so we'll just have to pay interest on it until we get it, but... Uh, I think we should buy this because I think that'll be worth it in the long run for us. So um, we'll do a front, yeah, front attacher. Yeah, we want a front attacher on there. So uh, there we go. That's something I think we definitely should buy. Oh, where did it? Oh, got delivered right here. Well, we're going to get, we're not going to pay that delivery costs. Um, I did that to reset the other one. So let's add 649 back in our bank account. There we go. Okay. So new tractor for us. Good to go. Um, this is one of my favorite tractors in is a very reliable tractor. This Case International is kind of older case. Uh, so it's a very reliable tractor. I think it'll do us very proud. I should have repaired it while it was there, but that's okay. We'll repair it back at the farm shop. Uh, we're back at the farm. But yeah, so this will be very good for us. Um, yeah, I think it'll be good. I still haven't sold anything off yet, so our money hasn't gone up, but we wish it should be able to sell everything off here pretty quick or just quite a few things. So things that I want to sell off, let me get this guy out here on the roadway where I'm, I'm going to be able to just kind of let it run on cruise control without having too many issues um here let's see and if we just set it there we go right down through there should be fine um we should have um we're a lot of our barley I do have a trailer full of barley sitting on the farm we've been going through a lot of the barley 
Uh, sorghum we can use probably for to make flour here soon after we're finished with the horses. Um, but um, I haven't sold any of the products we have. We have, if we go down to our factories, uh, we should have some oatmeal. Once all the oatmeal is done, I'll be able to sell that because that pretty much, oh gosh, pretty much stays as consistent as possible. I did not think we'd make it back here this quickly. That is okay. Let me turn us back into here. At least I noticed that before we got in a big old crash of some kind there. Uh, yeah, I'll let that auto save. That's fine. Uh, planks, we have a lot of planks to sell, so a lot of money sitting right there. And then barley flour, we're making a lot. We have 50,000, or yeah, 50,000 liters sitting over here in a pile, as you guys have seen. And then I have, I think, like 30,000 in the trailer right now. So I should have two full trailers or pretty much two full trailers to go with that. And I have a fair amount of eggs. I'm probably not going to sell the eggs just yet, even if we get a good price. But uh, I do want to sell all of our uh, silage, obviously, this year, as we do every year. Sell so all the silage, all the flour, and I want to sell all those planks off as well. Now we have a contract, so the planks will be a fixed price. So those ones won't be a super big deal to sell off. But uh, regardless of that, um, I think it'll be nice to sell some of that stuff off. And, oh yeah, let's repair this real quick. I don't know how much this is going to cost us. Eric should look into that. Uh, 2300 bucks that's not too bad leaves us pretty low on cash but um we have a lot of uh stuff sitting around to make us some cash so i'm not too worried about that and this uh, tractor will definitely get some good use on the farm so there we go i think that was a good good kind of trade over for the tractors um we will eventually probably pretty soon get rid of uh this guy will keep until we have the animals gone but we'll probably get rid of these two honestly pretty quick um, start moving towards bigger tractors because right now we have seven tractors. We have these three large ones now. Um, we have this huge one here, and then we have these couple of small ones there. So, um, yeah, I think that we'll be able to start clearing some of those out soon. Uh, but anyhow, I'm gonna keep getting some stuff done unless something else changes. I will bring you guys back in when it is time to start planting these soybeans on our fields. So, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, so I lied. We're not gonna get to today's point of the episode, it's not gonna be where we are planting soybeans. Um, the only reason being is I want to get this episode out to you guys on Tuesday and just my crazy work schedule. The only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I wrap up the episode here soon. But we have 50,000 liters of flour on board. I've already sold 50,000 liters of flour. I also sold 617,500 liters of silage. That is crazy. I sold it for $118,000 um, or just over that. And the good news was as well, uh, or not the good news, sorry. We, we didn't have to deliver it ourselves. We again paid $5,000 to um, our trucking company here locally that does the delivery for us, which is nice. Their name escapes me now, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get all this sold off. So I did write down the starting balance for this, so we should be able to see how much we have on board here in a, in a second. Okay. Or how much we've made, I guess I should say. Let that sell off. There we go. Last little bit on there. So we'll see. Okay, so now, moment of truth. We had $74,000 in the bank at the time we started. So on that, I also paid our loan off. I should note that as well. So let's see here. We have 145 now, 145,801 minus 74,393. We made $71,408 off of our flour, which is awesome. That is absolutely incredible. So that's perfect. That's just the kind of cash that we need right there, um, which is great for us. And everything is on, is working. We killed the weeds off here, and that's all good to go. So next episode, soybeans, soybeans, soybeans. I'm sure we'll also harvest some grass here. And hopefully, as well, we will be almost done getting rid of these guys. They're almost fully matured. So once they're fully mature, we're going to sell our horse off, get rid of them. I thought about getting the chickens, and honestly, I think we should, at least for now, because I think I want to clear that space out where they're at. Uh, so next episode, maybe we get rid of the chickens as well, or maybe we move the chickens, because I did talk about doing animal pens over here. I don't think that's a bad idea, and I'm not against chickens. Maybe we do a bigger, probably could do a bigger uh, animal pen for chickens as well. Probably one in here that holds a lot more. 150, 30. It's terrible. 360, that's what we have right now. That's not the one we have right now. That's the capacity we have right now. Anything greater than 360? Let's see. 500. Okay. That's a pretty big one. 500. 720. Okay. Okay. And 360. So 720 is pretty good. 63,200 is pretty hefty. 
But I think if we did a couple of those, we'd make a lot of money. I mean, our eggs are going to make us a lot of money. So, uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Should we keep doing eggs? I think that's a good way to go about it. Um, I did think about, oh, that's a big old tractor right there. I kind of want that. Cotton harvester, that's way too expensive for us right now. But this guy we actually could afford. We may buy him next uh, next episode. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, so we could do cows. Um, if we wanted to do cows, we could just strictly feed them, I think. If we feed them, actually, what I can do here real quick, just to take a look, because I haven't done a ton of animals, I can just switch over to I can join their farm, leave our farm real quick, and then I can switch to take a look at their animal pens. They have cows. Um, I know they're not taken care of right now, but uh, hay is 80%. So what we could do um, is just do hay and just feed them hay. Um, their productivity wouldn't be as high as it could be, uh, but if we just, because we have a tether, we could just do some hay off of our fields, or around the farm, and then just feed them that. Um, I mean, we do do silage anyway, so we could do, but just instead of having to mix it and deal with it, I think just honestly just doing hay would be a lot easier for us. We even could get a hay dryer and uh, do it that way and get a loading wagon, and that way we don't have to tet it. That actually might be faster. Uh, but then we could just make some milk probably, and I think that would be maybe a good way for us to make some extra cash. Or even if we just did beef cattle, honestly, beef cattle would be just fine. Um, but however we want to do that, I think that would be actually a good way to go about making some extra money. Horses are terrible for us to make money. The other thing we can do is sheep, but let me know down in the comments. Oh, I got to get back onto our farm here. Um, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think we should do in terms of animals or if we should even do animals. I don't want animals to be a primary thing we're focused on. So honestly, there's a good possibility we just do chickens and then focus on chickens because chickens are pretty much the easiest animal. Um, and we can just load up the eggs uh, using an auto load. Uh, trailer like this one here and it'd be easy peasy to do that so that might be a good option for us but but anyhow a um, couple things have happened since I last saw you guys in here first off I sold a hundred thousand liters of uh, boards for a hundred and forty thousand dollars so we did get on that um, I also bought this guy I bought a John Deere uh, 9620 is the one on sale that I said I wanted to buy last episode and so I did buy it uh, we still have a decent amount of money so I'm not too worried but uh, we are going to need a few pieces of large equipment as we get going uh, forward in the series. So I figured since it was on sale, why not buy it now? Um, and uh, I also did a lot of logging, a lot of it. An absolute boatload of logging um, over... i just show you guys in here. I logged um, this chunk through here. I logged that stuff all up over there, So, um, which was great. And I actually did decide this time, just to save a little bit of time since I've done so much logging, I used the Mobile Wood Warehouse by Yoss, which is fantastic. I usually just transport it myself, but I decided I would use that. Um, and so that was great. Um, there's still a little bit of wood left in there, but um, it's still getting put into the correct spot, if that makes sense. But yeah. Um, okay, let's hop in this guy. We need to get some things rolling here. Um, yeah, we need to get some things rolling here. We need seeds first off and we need to probably repair this whole setup here i don't think we've used this yet since we bought it um so this will be good versatile needs also a little bit of uh repair work as well so let's see if we can't just go like right about there ish that should get both of them let's get those guys fixed up repair that guy and repair that guy okay good 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 now, the other thing is, um, this thing should, if I remember correctly, if we go to our planters, this thing should also fertilize with liquid fertilizer, so we might want to get some of that put in there. Now, the other thing I wanted to ask you guys as well, should we run precision farming on this series or not? I did think about it. Um, we're doing it on Michigan Farms. I did add it to that, my live stream series. Uh, I'm probably not going to do it on Silver Run Forest. Um, if, I don't know, but we're we'll also not going to do a lot of farming on there, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. Anyways, but I just wanted to get your guys' opinion on that, so let me know down in the comments um, if you guys have an opinion of that. Um, this thing doesn't have... It might actually need the configuration for fertilization, but let's that's, that's also take a look at our fields here real quick. Uh, okay, so obviously we have, we have barley planted there. I'm going to turn the grass on as well. Uh, so that's growing great. I do get all that barley planted all good to go. Now, in terms of fertilization... Let's get weeds off of there. There's some here and there, but I think we might just be able to hit that without worrying about it. So maybe we'll just go ahead and plant normally um, and not worry about that. Because also it's liquid fertilizer, which we don't have any of that laying around the farm. 
which could be a bit of an issue there. Let's see if we can get through here without too many issues. Hit that, that's all right. All right, there we go. Let's try to get out of here without too many issues, hopefully. Very large, very large uh, planter set up here. I think we're in soy. That's why it's great. Since we're on this field, we might as well head up here. It should be unfolding right now. I hit it way back over there. Yeah, it's working on it. Slow but sure. Takes a while to unfold, that's for sure. But by next year, we should have this field extended all the way out as well, so we'll get even more. Off of our harvest, that is. Let's see if we can get this started on here. Oh, it does go. I don't... Yeah, we probably should start actually at the other end of this field. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. Well, you know what? No, I can get that. I can get that separate. This is a direct drill as well, though, to be fair, I think most of what we're planting is cultivated already anyways, but this is a direct drill. There we go. Almost there. It takes forever to unfold. Uh, hopefully, I think we should be able to, after we get this done, just go right into here. And then I'm hoping I can drive through here without... I might have to fold it up somewhere in there. This is going to be a bit of a pain. Or maybe what I'll do, actually, in the meantime, is get that one planted using the other one, since we have the other planter and a John Deere tractor, so that actually might be a better better way to do it. First need to... Oh, it's still unfolding. I'm not ready yet. I thought I was ready, but I am not ready. It actually has a relatively small seed tank for how big it is. Almost done. Maybe. There we go. Oh, it's on. And we're going. And we're finally planting. And I don't know how he's going to do, but we're just going to hire him to do that for now. But there we go. We're using a massive planter. I love it. Um, definitely going to make things go by pretty quick in terms of planting. Um, obviously, I'll clean up that edge there in a little bit. I might actually get the Kinsey and just come out and get that. And that's the other planter that we have. Uh, but there we go. Okay. And then obviously, we'll probably deal with some weeds and stuff on this. Um, at some point, but everything is going well there. Oh, please don't turn around. Please continue. Um, well, while he's doing that, um, one thing I do want to talk about is we do want to get rid of, hopefully, the horses and chickens um, today. And if we go actually into our productions as well down here, uh, the oatmeal is done. So we can actually sell the oatmeal off as well, and then we can sell this building off, which I will do at some point here. Let's make sure he's still going. Okay, good. It's cooking along at a fair rate there. Okay. Um, obviously, we don't have a lot of that, so it's going to be kind of sitting in there working. A little bit of wood in there. After that's done, I'll probably still hold on to the... Well, actually, I'll probably sell it off. It's not very much money. I'll sell the little wood warehouse off. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of wood in there. We got a lot of wood from our um, all the forest we did. Barley, we don't have any barley currently getting made into flour because there's none left in storage. And there's only a little bit left in our trailer um, to feed our chickens. Which, to be fair, after our chickens are, after we pretty much, I don't know, actually, probably any any day we need to sell these chickens off. And these guys are so close to being ready to be sold. So I'm going to try not to put any more food in here if I can avoid it. Um, but then we're going to sell these guys off. And we'll probably sell the hay bales we have off. We've had those hay bales for a while and we're not sure what we're doing in the future. Uh, so just to get them out of the way, so we'll probably sell the hay off. And then we do have the sorghum, which then I think we can turn into... Uh, flour down here, which I think will just be a good use for uh, the sorghum. So we'll just do that, turn it into flour to get it sold off. Oop, let's see how he turns around. This is kind of what I'm really curious about. He has plenty of room, so it should be fine, theoretically speaking. But he's backing up quite a bit. Okay, I'm not I'm not a fan of that method. That drives me crazy. That's the only problem with using really massive equipment if you're not the one driving it, is workers typically have a lot of issues uh, getting really turned around and stuff like that. Now, also later on in this episode, we do have some new businesses from subscribers and stuff like that. Actually, there's quite a few new things in town. Um, I kind of went overboard maybe a little bit, uh, but in a good way. Uh, so, yeah, we will uh, look at some of those. I'm actually not going to show all of them off um, in this episode, just because I think it'll be a bit much. But we'll show quite a few of them off, or some of them off at least. So, that will be good. Yeah, there we go. And actually, one thing, I'm going to unhire him because 
see if they're going to miss that on the turn there. So, well, this guy doesn't have GPS, does he? Well, let's try to back him straight up then. That is the good thing about how big that planter is. I don't want to, I just want to get this little edge of the field down here and make sure it actually gets hit. Oh, holy cow, it took it forever for that thing to lower. There we go. Should be using any seeds now, pretty much. Yeah, because it's all planted and it knows that. Okay, and then now that we're back up here, hire him to keep. Oh, he's gonna he lift it up. I like, got over there, of course. Okay, there he goes, and he is back at it. Okay, perfect. So they're gonna keep getting that done. Um, if we look at the map, it's huge swaths he's getting. If we look at like what's yeah, you can see how big the swaths are. So these fields are not gonna take very much time. Um, let's get the John Deere. Where's he at? There he is. Let's hook him up to the Kinsey here. Because he can start working on the other field as well. In the meantime, it's a beautiful thing about having both of these guys now. I don't think we've used either of these big planters yet, so soy is a good good crop for us. We do need to upgrade and get a bigger cedar. The other thing I thought about getting is probably a bigger uh, lime spreader because we only have the little one. Which, to be fair, its width is fine. It has a huge width on it, but um, I want one that can have a little bit more capacity before you have to refill it, I think is what I'm after. The only that's that little guy right there we use also for our fertilizing. I mean, it just doesn't have a big capacity on it. We're not quite there. Not quite. Let's go a little closer. There we go. I have to get in and out for whatever reason. Sometimes you get it to work the way it's supposed to work, but it is what it is, I guess. We do have a lot of eggs right there, actually, too, as well. We have that going for us. Why are you not planting? Oh, boy. What is he? Oh, is he? He missed a whole bunch of that. Oh, my gosh. What is going on here? You guys going to drive me crazy? Absolutely crazy. Well, anyhow, I'm going to keep working on this. I'll bring you guys back in uh, probably when it's time to show off some stuff in town um, and probably sell the horses off. That's probably when I'll bring you guys back in. Um, boy, yeah, he just does not want to work there. There we go. Whether it be something, oh, I bet you that's part of the problem. Little stumps like this will throw them off. Crazy. But anyhow, I'm going to keep getting stuff planted. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. So I'll see you guys when it's time to sell the horses. Probably is the next time we'll, we'll have something to do here. All right. So the time has come to sell off our horses. Um, first off, all of our soy is uh, planted. Everything is looking good. Um, I didn't fertilize some of these little bits. I'm not going to worry about. Um, they'll be fine. But uh, weeds are taken care of. And we have it all growing. So obviously our... Barley's growing here, and then our soy is growing in those fields. I did do a grass, um, I did do a grass harvest off camera, so I got that taken care of. I also sold off for our uh, production facility here, which doesn't have actually still have anything in it. Um, no, it is good. Let's just open that to make sure. Yep, completely empty. So I sold off all of our oatmeal that we made here for about twenty eight thousand dollars, which is great. Um, I also had to buy 27,000 liters of seed because we were at a seed, so I just figured I'd just fill it all the way up our storage uh, silo. So I did that um, as well. And then you can see that we uh, we have a few silage bales over here. So we got like, I can't remember how much it was actually. I think it's 21 bales here, but each of these is 7,500 liters. So quite a bit over there, but uh, yeah. So I got that done, which is great. Um, and now we can sell this building off to start if my build mode will load here. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so I can sell off this guy to start. So we're going to sell that because we're not going to use that anymore. That was a great uh, starting tool for us that we no longer need. And now we are going to go pick up our horses and get those guys sold off. And then on the way, um, we should be able to stop and take a look at a couple of businesses that are out and about. Um, so that'll be good. 
Some of them actually don't have names. I have just a few mods that I found and located and put in here that weren't necessarily requested by people, but they seem to fit in really well with what was going on. Um, yeah, so... Hook up to this guy right here. We will do a nice little drive in the next episode around town, I think, um, to take a look at some more stuff that's added in. Um, I don't think I'll do that this episode. We'll take a look at a couple things that are just kind of on the way to the horses. Get these guys loaded up. We should be able to put all four in here. Yep, move to trailer. There we go. Okay, so we have all of them loaded up. Um, they should be good to go. And you can see we're pretty close. Well, no, you can't see it now, but we're pretty close. We're almost out of food in there. And then we are going to, I guess actually we can do it right now. Let's go ahead and we're going to sell off this horse pasture. And then we can demolish the fence around it as well. Let's get rid of all this around here. And yeah, I did have a few comments about uh, chickens. I don't want to sell that. Um, and I appreciate those comments about getting like bigger capacity. Darren will even offer to edit me a bigger capacity chicken coop. Uh, but uh, I don't think I need a bigger capacity one. I think the 720 or whatever I have on here. And I know there's a couple mods in the mod hub, so I might install those. But um, I think what we have, I have quite a few options. I think I'll be able to make it work. So I don't need a million chickens, to be fair. Um, I just want a few chickens, and I think that we should be able to get enough chickens with uh, different ones that we have here. But I do appreciate all the comments, so thank you guys for that. You guys seem pretty excited to have the series back. I'm excited to keep it going again. Uh, Silver Run forest will continue as well um hopefully um that's the plan at least if i had to choose one though i would definitely choose no man's land over silver run forest but i would like to keep both series going and see them both off to completion but we're working on this one right now so right as we get out here a couple things i put some billboards in some random spots but just along here you can kind of see it if i zoom out there's like four really nice let's just go into build mode real quick just to show you there's like four really nice houses i put through here I did put a neighborhood back here, but we'll get to that later. But just kind of some nice more estate style houses. So I figured our town really doesn't have a ton of housing on it. So that's kind of the thing it's short on. So I added some quite a bit of housing actually. I added into um I added into the uh the map here, which I think is gonna be a good fit for it. And then you can already see on the right hand side, one of my favorite things I added in. This thing came out recently in the mod hub, and this is great. Let's stop and get some coffee. So a nice little drive through setup here. We can order our coffee, get our coffee. And then, oop, head about our way. And actually, this this trailer, not a problem getting it through here. Turning back on the highway, still not a problem. All right. And I did add a trailer park right there as well. There's a couple other businesses over there. We'll take a look at all of it later. So some of these don't have owners, which is okay. We'll get that squared away. And then I also added in a wash plant here, which this is. Uh, I gotta, I gotta get uh, the my, I gotta get my. Uh, Hold on a second here. My business list here. Um, see if I can find it so I can talk about some of these things that are added in here um, as we're going through. So there we go. Farmer T79. That's his uh, place here. It's uh, Farmer T's Rub a Dub Dub Wash. Um, so I thought this was a pretty good, pretty good setup here. So this is a truck tractor and car wash. It says, I already said, hello, Farmer Cop. Hope all is well with you, my friend. I'm really enjoying your channel. I would like to open a business in town. I can buy or lease some land. With the growth of town, I see a profitable opportunity for a truck, tractor, and car wash. I'd like to open Farmer T's rub a dub dub drive through wash station. So we do have quite a few different wash stations here. We have this guy right here. Perfect. Good to go. We have kind of like a little, I figure like a little guard shack for like him, Farmer T79, to come in and do some work or whatever we needed to do. We have this drive through area here. A couple drive through stations here. Another drive through station here. And then this guy right here, you can drive through. And then there's also some bathrooms over here. It's a really cool mod I found, actually, that I think is pretty good. Um, I know it's German, 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 but it still works out good for this. And then you come out this way. So I thought that was a good setup there. Um, and then again, you have your mobile home park right here. And I used that sign that came out uh, right there, the Sunnyvale Trailer Park, which I thought fit really well with that. So. Um, yeah, so nice little wash area right there. I like that. I like that I added that in there. I think that looks really good. And there's quite a few businesses on the left-hand side. Um, none of these actually have owners, at least yet. I haven't gone all the way through my list to see. Some of these might get owners, and I'll mention that in the future, but we'll just show it off real quick. So a little parking area right here. A little area to buy uh, some vegetables right here. I put signs up, just in case I wanted to name them all. 
I found this guy a little like fish and chips stand, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then this is part of the Christmas market here, just a little kind of grill here. So all that set up for people. Parking lot here. Um, and then we have a Dairy Queen. This is by uh, OKU's Mods. It's not in the Mod Hub, I don't think, but uh, OKU's Mods. So here we go. Um, they can go and people can go and park, get the, what they need there. And then in here, we got all sorts of different little like businesses, markets, a dairy, a um, little farm shop that I found. Um, all set up in here, which looks great in there. Oh, I'm stuck in there. There we go. Um, and this little cell point here. And then behind this whole place, I did put some kind of like employee parking and delivery parking connected out through there. So I wanted, I thought that would fit kind of really well into it. Uh, but there you go. So that little kind of shopping area on your way in through to the housing area or the residential area, which, uh, yeah, you know what? I think we are going to drive down, drive a lot of, around a little bit more to take a look at some things. You know, what? I've decided to do that. I know that was maybe not the smartest idea, but uh, at least a couple of the things. Um, the coffee factory now has a name right there. That's the coffee factory. It didn't have a name. So Toby's Place 21 um, offered his name for any business. Um, and if you wanted to do that, or there's any of the businesses that I list that are unowned, you can let me know uh, down in the comments. Well, maybe not just yet, because I'll probably have to, uh, I'll probably have to go through all my lists first and make sure. Uh, but if you just want to offer your name as a, hey, if you need a name for a business that doesn't have a name, uh, feel free to let me know um, down, down in the comments below. Um, a couple other things um, here. So first off, actually, this is, who did I, let me let it save here. Let me hop out of my vehicle here. So we have a sign up over here. This is uh, J. Robin's Livestock. Let me find his comment real quick and read it. And let me mark, uh, let me mark the ones real quick I have read so I don't do those again, as fun as that would be. Um, J.R. Robbins, where are you at? J. Robbins says he wanted to open a place that would uh, allow sell animals, bales, and delivery offered, offered to do fuel and call it Joe Robinson Haulage. I had to kind of work with it a little bit. I figured the animal dealer wasn't named, and I figured that would be kind of the best place to do that up here. So I know sometimes you guys won't get exactly the business you're kind of after, and I know this one is nothing too exciting. It's just the animal dealer on the map name. But as many people as I can try to include in the series, I'm going to do that. Um, you know, however I may do that. That's kind of funny, the name Calypso there. I was just watching uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, one of the, the the third one? Second one. Third one. Maybe it's third or second. Maybe it was just the second one I was watching. No, I think it was the third one. I can't remember now. But let's go ahead and sell these guys. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, there we go. Just over $200,000 in the bank. And we're good to go in terms of that. Um, a couple things. I think... Uh, what do we got for time on this episode? Let me look at my, my time on this episode. Um, yeah, you know what? We're pretty close to where I would normally want to wrap up. So let's go ahead and just take a little tour of the town. I've decided we're going to do that and add in a bunch of businesses this episode. That's just how it works for me. You guys haven't had any businesses in a while. And I've added quite a few cool ones. So I'm going to dump off our trailer. We don't need to haul that around. So I can get turned around here. All right, so... We have the rock quarry here, but up here, all this land was kind of blank and not used. Um, and I had a couple kind of farm, smaller farm ideas that people wanted added in. So I thought this would be a good spot up here for them. So right up here, on the right-hand side, we have a strawberry farm. So you have some greenhouses, some storage facilities, uh, a water tank back there as well, and a little farmhouse. And this right here, we hop out. This is... Oh, boy. Wait, wait for the current. Dennis's Strawberry Farm. So there we go. Uh, let me find Dennis's comment here uh, real quick. So Dennis said, good day, FC. Um, or no, 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 that was the wrong one. Uh, Dennis, 1990, says, nice episode. I have a company offer. I moved from the Netherlands to No Man's Land and start a strawberry farm, like five or six big greenhouses. If you take care of the water, you could have half the income. We probably won't have time to do that, unfortunately, but I did want to make sure you had your farm here. So there we go. And then just up the road here, I believe this is Devin Bacups. Bacups? Probably say Baca. Baca. Probably saying his name wrong. I apologize. Should be a sign somewhere. Where's the sign? Oh, here it is. A Baca pig farm. So, we got some pigs out here and all that good stuff. So, uh, the comment was recently moved in from Finland and noticed a lack of husbandry in the area. I was a fifth generation smoked sausage store owner, but I went bankrupt once chain grocery stores moved into my hometown. I'm looking forward to opening my own shop here. Would you be able to bring me 10 pigs around 30 months old? So I know it was kind of more leaning towards maybe a smoke shop, but I thought, you know what? We don't have a pig farm. If he's going to raise pigs, I thought that would fit in really nice with the series. So there we go. And then, of course, this road 
loops around this way. So right over to the other kind of farms on the left hand side here. So yeah, I thought this is a good area up here to put a couple of farms in. It just seemed like it fit well. Um, this hill right here, I'm not sure what. Oh, let me open that up. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it per se yet. Uh, maybe a couple more factories, cut them into the ground a little bit, and then have a little bit of a hill behind them. So probably do something like that. Um, but yeah, so those are added in. Let's see what else I added in here. We've got quite a few things actually, honestly, uh, quite a few. Well, you know what? I'm trying to like balance time because there's a lot of things to show off. So I think we will show the rest of it off maybe in the next episode. We've seen quite a few new things today on here. Uh, oh, the cereals get manufactured. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll call it good. There's some few things out and about out over there. You may see some of them. Um, but I think we'll call it good right there for now because I need to finish a couple things up over there as well. But yeah, I think that's where we'll end it for today. Um, we had quite a few new things added in and everything like that. So um, yeah, I think we're making progress on the farm. Everything's going good. The series is kind of getting back into the flow of things and everything like that. And I like that. So uh, we're making progress in terms of that. Um, I'll keep raising the chickens for now. Um, eventually, we'll sell the chickens off, but we did sell the horse off, which is great. And we, of course, um, we sold off the uh, small production facility. So uh, we got a lot done today. Next episode will be probably primarily focused on uh, harvesting. So we'll do that next episode. Uh, so I just did decide since we are going to slowly get rid of our chickens and our horses are done, um, we got rid of those last episode. I'm going to put this into the grain mill because I think that will be good. We'll make some more money off it than we would selling it normally. And I don't want to feed it to the chickens. I think we're going to get rid of the chickens as soon as they run out of food. Um, again, we might be getting new chickens somewhere else on the farm, but for now we're just going to clear these guys out of here uh, once they run out of food. We do have quite a few eggs on there as well. So a few things, goals today. Um, I want to go over a couple new businesses, if at all possible. I need to make a couple announcements in terms of like, uh, well, in terms of like comments and stuff like that. Uh, talk about a couple things there. We'll get that all dumped in. It's not all gonna fit right now, which is fine. We'll get as much as we'll fit. Actually, yeah, most of it did fit. Okay, uh, we do need to go into the production menu. Obviously you can see here, chickens, we're waiting until they are done there. Um, and that's all of our sorghum. So everything out of our storage. And again, we're harvesting more barley, which we are going to put into storage and we're probably going to turn it all into flour because that makes us really good money and a lot more off of that than we would get in the barley uh, normally so um, in case you didn't know that, that's how that works it works really well uh, let's turn on sorghum flour um, we'll activate that and that will hopefully start working on getting some more flour made um, that's all good so and then hopefully today we may sell some planks off and see we got a lot of wood in there and a lot of planks in there we actually almost have a full actually we do have full truckload because these guys are outside here uh, so we'll do that hopefully today uh, maybe sell eggs, maybe sell flour. Those are all possible. We are going to sell the chickens today. And I do also want to sell the hay that we have in this bale shed over here and then sell this bale shed off because eventually we're going to redo this whole area. So this bale shed is going to go and then I want to sell the hay in here. Actually, we can just sell the bale shed right now. Um, we might as well. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get anything for it. 225 months. Good Lord. We have been on here for 18 years, which is crazy. So there we go. That's gone. Um, yeah, and we do have barley. Oh, I got their barley ready to harvest. The grass technically isn't ready to harvest yet. It's got one more state to go to get the best yield. So we're going to wait for that, which is going to be fine. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start getting the barley harvested here in a second. And while I'm harvesting it, I'm going to mention a few comments and stuff like that as we get going, because uh, I think that'll be the best way to kind of go about that. So we're going to go ahead and hop in a harvester here. Get it all started up, fired up. All right, let's get it rolling, hopefully. We will get the other harvester going here eventually, but we're just going to start with the one. I am going to hire a worker, but I'm going to sit in it. I just want to be able to chat with you guys about a couple things real quick. Um, so what I am going to do, I guess I can start kind of filling you in. What I am going to do, I um, can't fit that way probably. We'll probably have to go this way. Um, what I am going to do is read off some of the business ideas that you guys gave me that I'm not going to use. I'm going to read them off because I appreciate that you guys commented those. Some of you guys commented those. These ones just, for whatever reason, either I already had something similar to it or they just didn't fit in with the storyline or however I wanted to do the town. They just didn't fit in. But I wanted to take the time to thank the people who actually made the comments about these businesses. And I think I mentioned some of them before, but as I mentioned them now, I'm going to move them to a separate list so I know that I actually mentioned them. Um, so I apologize if I mentioned any of these twice, but again, there was a big break in my No Man's Land recording, as you guys know. I think it was a couple months that I was not recording it, so that was quite the yeah quite the time that I wasn't recording. I did think about doing straw, but I don't I don't think I really want to deal with that probably. 
Um, as you know, straw paling is one of my nemesis. Um, we'll go ahead and hire him to do that. Okay, let me pull up my other sheet here so I can uh, talk about a few things with you guys because you guys are awesome. So these are a few businesses that I want to kind of talk about and I'll have to keep scrolling out to go look at them. So um, first off, thank you to Honest Dad Reviews. He left a comment, says uh, he wanted to, I think he already has a business on here. I think it's the vet um, on here actually as well. But he also wanted to offer uh, raise horses and offer trail rides if that's possible, um, even better. He said he's a retired truck driver, so if you need help in the area with that, he's glad to grab gears for friends. And he says he loves the content, so thank you. Um, and then he also had the kind of like a subscriber contract along with that. But I want to say thank you, Honest Ad Reviews, for all your comments and your support of um, the uh, channel. So thank you and the series as well. Um, so, uh, Stephen Persilver, this is a comment that's been on here for a while. It says, hello, Mr. Cop. I'm with Not General Mills. We're an all-organic cereal producer. We supply wholesome foods to anyone who wants good, good for you food at a wholesale price. We also supply orphanages, various shelters, and Red Cross with high-protein, low-fat superfoods free of charge. All of my employees are paid better than a living wage with great benefits, paid sick leave, and a superb paid vacation plan. I want to go work there. Uh, we believe that happy and healthy employees provide the best of the best of everything. Um, we would love to offer you to join. And then there's a, a subscriber contract to help them out with cereal. I didn't put it in because we. the first comment I had about a cereal producer was already that cereal factory that we put in a base game. So that one I didn't, uh, I didn't end up doing. Uh, but a great idea, and I do appreciate the comment on that as well. Um, I'm going to read a couple more. I'm not going to do all of them today or anything like that. I just wanted to do a couple to get a couple here, a couple here, and a couple there as we go through the series. So that way I can make sure I give credit to these guys uh, for their comments. Uh, Hugo Larson made a comment. says, love your content, but it would be fun if I could have a vintage machine dealership and repair store. The reason is I love repairing old machines and see other people using these old machines instead of new ones. And I moved out to no man's land to start a business and hope other folks move out there too and enjoy the fresh free lands. Um, and he said, sorry for the bad English, but it was actually really good. He said he's from Sweden as well, which is awesome. So thank you, Hugo. I appreciate it. Great comment. Uh, Rainbow Lord says, Farmer Cop, I will start a lumber company at Field 33 and 32 in FS. Um, the story is my for my lumber, I wanted selling in the city, and I was forced to relocate. So I relocated and started from scratch, building everything from the ground up. I have basic equipment and work out on no man's land. Uh, so I love it. Uh, we don't probably need that in there. So I don't think that. I think that's why I didn't uh, keep it on there. And all these ideas I hold on to in case I want to use them later. But... Uh, right now, I'm not planning to use these ones, and I have quite a few of you guys that I'm still planning to use and that I have added in that I haven't mentioned yet. Um, OG178X says, for his business idea, he wanted to open up an excavation at large equipment contractor. Um, he's looking for a place to have a temporary storage area work for the area. Uh, could use of equipment or could trade use of equipment for access to water source and use of the land for equipment storage. So um, we already kind of had that already with our kind of excavation company that we have set up in town. Uh, so I didn't want to do that one since we already kind of did that. But again, thank you for that. Those are the ones I'm going to start with, I think, for now. Um, yeah, I still have, well, actually, you know what? There's a couple more here. Well, no, I'll, I'll just start with those ones just so I don't want the whole episode to be filled with that. So anyhow, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep working on harvesting the barley here. So we're going to get that all done squared away. Um, I would do a time lapse of it, but I'm not going to just because I'm trying to get stuff recorded to go uh, travel around. So I'm trying to make sure you guys have some content out there. So I'm just going to do it. I have it run in the background off camera while I get a couple other things done. Um, so I'm going to get the harvest done and I will uh, bring you guys back in at some point, either when we do something, sell something or something exciting happens. So again, I will see you guys here in just a minute. It. All right, welcome back in everyone. So our chickens have officially ran out of food approximately five minutes ago. It knocked their health down a little bit as well, but that's okay. Uh, we are going to go ahead and sell them off as I said we would. So we're going to go ahead and sell. Actually, we can just do that. Sell all those guys off. Boom. Get rid of those guys. Boom. Then we got these guys. Boom. This will take a little bit there because I think we'll have to do this four times for this group. Here we go, and then finally, and that is all of our chickens. So there we go, our chickens are gone. We will sell off uh, the animal pen. Uh, I guess we could sell it off now, but we'll sell it off in a little bit. I do want to get, I know I, sh I know I show this sometimes on camera, and I apologize, but it gives you a little view behind the scenes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a thumbnail shot right here. We're saying goodbye to our chickens this episode. They have served us well. Jeff, your chickens. They were named after Jeff because Jeff always wanted chickens um, in my series. So, oop, let me get rid of that there. Don't need that on there. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. There we go. Got rid of it. Perfect. Okay. So, and we obviously have quite a few eggs here. So, we're going to wait till the price goes up. So, the price, if we look in here, um, it should be better. I believe it's in, uh, yeah, November. So, November, we'll go ahead and take care of that. Now, we also have a lot of flour right now. 
Uh, we have about 100,000 liters of flour. So we're waiting for that to go up to 708 in December. So um, yeah, we're still just, we're just gonna wait for that. Um, now we are gonna get ready to do a soy harvest. Um, we need, June is the best time to sell it. So obviously hold on to it for a bit. Prices are terrible right now, but we are just gonna straight up sell the soy for just some, just cash money for us. So which is what we need around the farm. So that'll be perfect for us. So a couple other things as well. Um, I, we don't have any barley in storage. I should tell you, we did harvest the barley. The barley harvest went great. We harvested 101,000. 818 liters of barley, which was awesome. And we have, um, let's see here. So obviously we're using it all for, since we got rid of the chickens for now, we're using it all for the old grain mill to make stuff. So we have 26,000 liters in there, almost 27,000. And then we have a little bit left in this truck. Always the rest has been converted to barley, which is great. And then I also put all of our sorghum in here and I was getting rid of the sorghum slowly. So that's the last of our sorghum in there, just converting it over to flour. Um, I also sold off a load of planks, so that netted us $70,000 uh, selling off some planks here. And I also just totally forgot to mention it, but this happened actually a little while ago. Uh, but out here where I cleared all those trees away, we do have a little mobile utilities mod out here. Uh, I went out here and I ground all the stumps down, so all the stumps are gone and dealt with, which is great. Um, now we did make, I did make a, oh, also I forgot to mention, I sold the hay bales that we had. We only got like $1,400, bucks, but they are gone now, so we got those taken care of. Our soy is looking great. Um, we still have a ways until harvest for it. So that's why um, I was going to harvest it this episode, but we're going to wait until next episode to harvest it. So if we look on here, soybeans going across there, October, that is the perfect time to harvest. So we actually are only a month away to be fair. So we actually are catching up pretty good. You can see we have a lot of flour out here. Um, but I did buy this. This was on sale. It is a really good, um, it is a really good um, forage harvester. If we go into here, take a look at it. Um, it has 410 horsepower, which is plenty for what we need. We're going to use it to do some silage. Again, I mentioned that we're going to kind of switch over to doing some silage harvests on this field down here. We currently have soy in there, but we'll get that taken care of. I also did do a silage baling off camera. So I did a whole another set of bales of silage off of our couple of grass fields that we have. So we'll get that taken care of. I do think I want to do cows and chickens. I do think that we're going to do that eventually on here again, um, just in a much larger quantity. So we will take care of that. We'll get that all squared away. Um, but yeah, I only spent, I only spent $34,000 on that. This guy right here, only $34,000 used for this guy with 33 hours on it. That's, I mean, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect to get us started doing that. And then again, I said, I would keep an eye out for one and one came up for sale, which is great. Obviously we don't have a header for it, so we will have to take care of that later, but that's not going to be, um, I don't think a big deal for us to get that taken care of. So we've got a lot of stuff done today. Um, and I did mention we're going to do the soy harvest again next time. Now, another thing I'm thinking about future purchases here. So forage harvester headers. Actually, one thing I want to see is kind of what size header goes with it. So this is what we have. We have one of these guys right here. It's the cheapest one we have in here. And I think it's a pretty good one for what it is. So I think it's great. Um, I mean, obviously it'll work with whatever. We'll probably try to, honestly, we'll probably try a, that's kind of interesting, six per corn header. I'm guessing they might actually set harvest the crops. That would be kind of interesting. Um, it kind of looks like that's going to do that. Now this one, of course, does the same thing, but I think we'll probably use the six meter header on there. Now, given that's three, almost three times as much as the harvester was, but I think six meters will be plenty for what it's going to do for us. And we'll get a good trailer to go on the back of it as well. Uh, probably like one of the auger master trailers so we can unload it really easily. I think that'll be smart. And then obviously we'll get a silo and all that stuff set up, but that's, that's good to go. Now the next big upgrade, and I think this will be the next thing we purchase before we even get going on um, taking care of um, our silage harvest. Because I think we need to increase our barley production. So we need to do like some bigger barley harvest because that one field, we're just cooking through it. We're making grain like it's nothing, um, or we're making bar or flour like it's nothing using our barley. So I think we need to get a bigger seeder so we can actually plant more fields. So looking in here, um, we definitely want a direct drill. This guy I think is, that's 18 meters direct drill, 19.8 there. That's not a bad one, the seed hawk set up there. This guy's 23 meters. That's probably a pretty good range to go right there. Given we need a cart to go with it. This one's a bit, probably a bit pricey for us. So I think this setup right here is what we're gonna go for. Now given that's $500,000 or 500, actually it's gonna be 545,500 dollars. Um, if I added those two up correctly, which I'm pretty sure I did. So 540, uh, $545,500. So 
Obviously, we only have 238,000 in the bank, so we're gonna need to make quite a bit more money to get there, but I do believe that we can make it, but that's kind of our future purchase plan um, for the time being. Now, next uh, harvest, I'll let that save there. Um, I do need to go out here and clear some trees up here because I would like to get this area up here um, turned into a field. Um, and then we will next year extend this out and get this field good to go. And then probably we'll work on getting that one cleared out as that year goes in terms of harvest. Um, for the time being, I'm probably still going to keep planting one field with barley because we just need to keep the barley rolling in. But we do need to eventually up that production a little bit. So we need to get in our cedar or something like that, um, which we might be able to actually do after we sell off our soybeans. I know it'll put us in a bit of a jam financially, probably it'll probably drain us out quite a bit. But between selling our silage, we probably will be able to sell some flour, some eggs, um, definitely, I think actually we'll, we should be just fine being able to afford that. So we'll sell eggs off, we'll have a lot of flour to sell off, we'll have silage to sell off, and we'll have all of our soy to sell off and more planks to sell off. So between all of that, I think we will do just fine and we should be able to um, afford everything that we could ever imagine and need. Uh, so I think that, oh, that's right, it does that weird thing right there. It won't let me through here for whatever reason. There's some sort of weird collision on there that only shows up when I'm walking right in that area of the map as you guys have seen in the past. But for now, we're gonna drive into town. I wanna to show off a couple subscriber businesses. I'm gonna to try to get another episode pre-recorded before I leave. Uh, tomorrow morning, I should have some time to record. Um, we are, DJ Goham and I are flying out to Germany tomorrow. We're leaving at 4.20 p.m., but we're leaving here early to get to the airport because the airport's a ways away and to make sure we get there on time and all that. So, my mom's got a haircut and my dad has to drive us. So we gotta leave early. So that's why we're leaving early right there. <laughs> But anyhow, it'll all work out. Uh, DJ's working on getting stuff done for Farm Sim News in the morning to make sure he can get that rocking and rolling as fast as possible, which is great. Love it. So fantastic. Um, one thing I want to show off that I didn't show off last time is just over here. Now, these are not businesses that I've necessarily given a name to, and I haven't gone through all the businesses yet to see who I want to name these after and stuff like that yet. But I did use that new mod, the trailer court sign up here. The, uh, what does it say? Sunny Vale trailer park, which I like. And I put a nice little trailer park, which actually we'll drive through it. It's a nice little trailer park. Um, so we drive into here. There we go. I think it looks pretty nice. I think it's really well set up right here next to the highway. It's perfect. So let's we'll drive through that. Lots of good little trailers in there like that. And again, I thought that was perfect. And I got the idea just because literally, I will say, I can't remember the monitor that put this sign out. But this Sunnyvale trailer park sign, just because they released this as its own standalone mod, I said, you know what? I'm going to use it somehow. So I built the trailer park. And there we go. And then over here, we have a specialty store, is what we'll call that. Or this one right here is a specialty store. What is that one? I can't remember. It's just some sort of shop. We have a couple shops here, and they do connect up in the back. Um, this one actually has a fuel point at the back here, which is kind of interesting. And then we have a nice... Um, parking lot here for our coffee shop for people that want to go in and sit and enjoy their coffee and do whatever they need to do so that's all set up there for them and now we got a couple of new subscriber businesses that i'm going to show off here um, in a second or at least subscriber ideas i guess one of them isn't a business um so we'll show it off here Oop, i'm going to go through there um, and actually you know what while we're here let's support uh support our local business here and get a car wash done our truck is very dirty so we'll get that done. That's looking nice right there. Beautiful. Okay, put that in there. Gosh, I can't even remember. It's uh <laughs> we'll go over here. Farmer T, that's right. Farmer T's rub a dub dub car wash and tractor wash here. I love it. So we'll go ahead and uh I'm I don't know how much the car wash. We'll say ten dollars there. We'll pull that out of the account and give that to Farmer T. Thank you, Farmer T, for allowing us to use your car wash. Thank you, my friend. We'll go ahead and head out this way. Um, and yeah, we're gonna head down over here. I think we just want to... Oh, I actually want to... How do I wanna get over there? I need to go this way. I'm already lo I'm lost in the town I built. That's just how it works sometimes. Here we go. We need to go down this way past our Dairy Queen. And we're not gonna go into the neighborhood there. We're gonna turn right there. Head down this way, and that's nice little, and that's actually a really wide road there. Um, perspective is interesting when you actually get down on the road. But here we go, nice little, and then don't look, up, don't look ahead. Some of those restaurants I'm not gonna show off just yet, but we have a nice little church here. Um, I'll read off who this is for here in a second. Uh, so it's Copper Springs. It's the Copper Springs Baptist Church, which is, that's the name of our town is Copper Springs. So put some nice little stuff in here. 
Nice little picnic area here, a little playground for the kids. Some bathrooms out back here in case you're out, sorry, barbecuing or doing whatever at the church. Having a potluck or whatever have you. And then, of course, there's walkthrough access to the movie theater, because why not? Um, so there's that. Um, now, yeah, let me pull up the uh, comment there. So KBC Films made the comment. says, good day, FC. I'm a youth pastor and would like to open a small church in no man's land. Uh, my wife's a primary school teacher, so maybe a school would be nice in this thriving community. I don't have a school yet, but maybe at some point here. Um, the church could be named No Man's Land Baptist Church. Now, obviously, our name is Copper Springs, so I just adjusted that a little bit and said the school can have any name. I'm still catching up with series on episode 35. Much love. And I don't know how long ago he's on episode 35. Thankfully, I took a two- or three-month sabbatical from the series unintentionally. So hopefully I have plenty of time to catch up, but that's fantastic. DJ's giggling at me. <laughs> But uh, anyhow, all right, two more things to show you guys off, and then we are going to wrap this episode up. Um, one of them, I'm not even going to drive to the one because I've shown it off before. Um, it's just going to kind of get a co-owner today because it's. Uh, I'm not going to build a second one because I think two in this uh, size town might be a bit ridiculous. But um, anyhow, and I think this part I'm about to show you guys, I think I already showed this off, but I didn't mark it off on my list. So just to be safe, because I don't want to forget about anyone, we're going to make sure we show it off now. So up here, the animal dealer, right here, Jay Robbins, livestock dealer, right here. So um, Jay Robbins left a comment. He said, I want to sell animals and bales, delivery offered for fuel as well, Joe Robinson Haulage. Um, and I just named the animal dealer after them because I we had kind of a similar business that does hauling stuff over there. So I figured um, I would just name the animal dealer after them. I think that fit pretty well. And then finally, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already, we're actually going to go into flight, excuse me, flight mode here. Let's hop out of there. Um, go up in the air. Okay, fly over here. Perfect. So right over here, as you know, we have a nice little fish farm up here. So I did get a comment from, uh, let me scroll up here. This is from Jeremy. He said, hey, buddy, this is Jeremy. Um, I had mentioned in your 19 series I was new to the game and your channel, and you dropped me a response. Thank you. Just finished watching the new bit on the 22 series, number 51, and had a business idea. Before I share our business, I don't know if you're familiar with the type of fish I'm talking about, so I will also give you a phonetic drop here. So he's talking about uh, uh, cichlid fish. Um, he wants to open up JW Tropicals, a fish farm that specializes in New World, North and South America uh, cichlids. Um, I, he said he's 41, and I've actually been in the hobby in real life since I was seven years old and have bred and sold a ton of fish. So he wanted the fish farm, and we already have one on here. Um, so I decided he can kind of co-own it here, and I think that'll be great. I think they can make that work out over there. So um, moving our flower truck because our production stopped because I didn't realize we were full here. So I'm going to move this over here and set it next to the other 50,000 liters we have over here. Leave it unloads on the, yep, the left side. So I'm going to, it loads up really nice and neat next to it. So I'm going to, I can get pretty close to that set actually there and I unload it. That'll actually give more than enough space. Yep, perfect. And then we'll go park it back over there so they can keep working. So that's 100,000 liters of flour sitting right there. And we have another like 9,000 over here. And we're still making more, which is great. Um, and our soy is ready to harvest. So I did say last episode I'd we get our soy going. And I did sell our chicken pen off. I did end up doing that um, because, yeah, got it out of the way here. Let's see if that... Perfect. Okay. We can go ahead and probably shut him off. Yep. And they should be able to just... Yep, keep going into there. Perfect. And then we can put some more barley in there probably as well. So last little bit of our barley. There's not, it's not, there's still some in the, the yeah, the production building there, but get a little bit in there for now. But yeah, so we are going to get our soy harvest here done. Now, one thing, our money has gone down quite a bit since last time because we talked about getting a new cedar. And this thing popped up on sale. So um, we talked about once we had, we we're done with this harvest because we should have enough money, we were going to buy. Um, Where's it at in here? This setup right here, 23.2 meters, and this guy. And then we said, what was that, $545,500 or something like that. Uh, that should be about actually right. So this guy shows up on sale with six hours on it, and it's only 162,000, so 110,000 off. So I I just had to jump on it. Um, it. Yeah, it was perfect. It worked out really perfect. Now, obviously, it's got a little bit of damage on it, but... Um, that is a screaming deal for that air cart. So we have the air cart now, which is great. So we're starting to have the right direction. Now we have plenty of horsepower to pull it. Um, I believe our our versatile should not have any issues. 583 and 500. I don't know how that requires. I don't know if we can scroll in here. Uh, 500. So both of our tractors can do it just fine. And it does seed and fertilizer, which is actually super nice as well. 
Um, now, I did also think about running precision farming on this um, series, so let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments. Um, I did think about adding it. I know I added it last No Man's Land we did that, um, but I didn't run it on this one because, well, for one, it wasn't out when uh, we started this series. We started this series when Farming Center 22 came out, or very shortly after that, So, um, which is really crazy to think about as well. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get our soy harvest done. I think that'll be a good plan for us. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention to you guys. I don't think so, though. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know. I don't know how long. These things are just so loud. Let me turn that. I'm just going to turn that volume down. That is just wild loud right there. Let's go. Let's try that. It's definitely a little better. That's much better. There we go. So... Um, but yeah, so we are definitely going to get our soy harvest done. Um, I don't know how long this episode's going to be. Um, it might be actually a lot of me doing harvesting off camera, unfortunately. And I do want to sell some stuff. I think we need to make some money this episode as well. So I'm trying to think in terms of how I want to do this. Because I do want to get a good thumbnail shot. And you guys have already seen it. Uh, oh, I need to check on the grass. How's the grass? The grass is ready as well as of today, too. So I need to get that done um, as well. I'm glad I noticed that. Um, where's our harvest right there? So... Obviously, we have this field to harvest, this field to harvest, this field to harvest. We are going to get probably 300,000 liters of soybeans, which is going to be a lot. I'm going to get both of our trucks here in a second working. I'm probably going to empty the barley out of that one to be able to get it ready to unload and do all that. Um, I'm not going to do a time lapse just because I don't want to spend a ton of time editing. So I, DJ Goham and I are literally leaving in four hours for the airport to go. So I'm just trying to get this done uploaded. Um, again, I want it to be a good quality video. It just might be a touch shorter and you guys already probably know that, but I think, I think to start, we're gonna start, I think two harvesters down here and then I'm gonna take a thumbnail shot maybe once they're down there. I think that might look pretty good because we have a lot of soy, we have a lot of soy to harvest. So I wanna get a good thumbnail shot is what I honestly wanna get. So I'm gonna start this guy down there and then I'm actually going to start the second harvester on the second row. Um, and then I'll unhire this guy when I need to, to be able to get a good thumbnail shot here. But we'll get him started. I know I've done the thumbnails with you guys in here look, for a few episodes in this series, but... Otherwise it just is what it is, so I know to put a weird cut in there. You guys might as well see what I'm doing. There's no secrets or secret stuff I'm doing off camera or anything like that. Let's get this guy rolling, and we should get a real good yield off of this. Hire you to do that, and then while you're starting down that row, we're going to hop in this guy and get him out there as well. So we can get both of these guys running. Now, there's actually a third one of these. It's probably still on sale, actually. There's a third one on sale that I didn't think about buying because it's only 27000 But eventually we do want to upgrade these harvesters. And I think, honestly, two is two is enough for me to try to keep up with them. But I'm not going to work them both in the same field. I will probably actually send one down to the far field to get that one done real quick after I get the thumbnail shot in. Um, but yeah, it should work out. But this is kind of how I do thumbnail shots. I know I don't usually run two harvesters on a field. But it's just trying to get a good shot that kind of shows what we're doing in the episode with what equipment. At least as best as possible. So... That's kind of one of the things I use to try to kind of help out a little bit. And we'll be honest, I wish that guy was more full after doing that much. So it's not great. I know soybeans is a lower yield crop, especially compared to like barley, which is what we're used to doing. So um, we'll see. Maybe we won't move 300,000 liters, but that would be real nice if we could get 300,000 liters off of this field. I'm going to hire him to go down that way. And this guy is getting... I want to keep going a little bit deeper because I want to be able to get both fields in there. So I'm probably going to do it almost to the end of this field um, is where I'm going to start, stop him. But yeah, you can see his yield. Yeah, we're doing okay. I mean, we're going to get a decent amount. There's probably two or $3,000 in there right now, which, yeah, we're going to make plenty of money off. I'm not worried about that per se. I was just hoping the yield might be a little bit higher. But I'm just not used to doing soybeans, I think, is probably the issue because the yield should be, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, yield bonus plus 85%, which is pretty much what you can get with what we have going on on this farm. And I think right there, I'm going to turn him on. Just have him sit right there. And then we'll hop back over to this guy. So this guy, once he gets closest, so he's a little bit offset, so it kind of looks like there's a couple workers doing it. So um, we will uh, unhire him, and then I'll take a quick screenshot, and I'll move on with the harvest. But 
in terms of what we're doing today, um, I don't think I have any, um, I don't have any plans to add any new businesses for this episode, I don't think at this point, I might later. Um, I do want to read off a couple of the comments here in a second after we get one of these guys going. I want to read off a couple of the ones that um, you guys mentioned that I'm not going to use. So I want to, again, I'm going to go through a couple of those every episode just to say thank you to everyone who dropped a comment and did all that sort of stuff. So thank you guys. It's a big deal, honestly, it is uh, for every one of you that left a comment. So I want to make sure you guys get the credit you deserve for leaving a comment about a business that we should start. So again, I've been reading off the businesses that we're not going to end up using in the series just because they don't fit necessarily with what I'm doing or um, there might be multiples of them already on the map or another one on the map or something like that. So those are kind of my reasons for not choosing those businesses. Nothing against the people or anything like that, obviously. It's just... It's just what's uh, what has to happen to make it easier. All right, we'll go back a little bit, and then I think I think we'll go for just a touch. I think right about there, and then I'm going to hop into flight mode, turn off visibility, and that right there is a great a great thumbnail shot. So I'll take that, and boom, just like that. That's how I do my thumbnails. So I'll turn flight mode off, turn that on. Um, this guy, we're going to keep going down just a little bit further, and then we're going to turn him off because we're going to take him down in our field because then I can just hire that guy where he's at right now, and he can keep working on the big field. Let's get that squared away there. Okay, let's get this guy hired up. Thankfully, they won't fill up super fast, so I should be able to actually get a couple things maybe down around the farm as well, but we'll kind of see about that. Uh, but yeah, our next upgrade, again, like I said, we're going to get a new seeder set up. We have plenty of tractors and plenty of other equipment. And then probably our next upgrade past that is going to be a new harvester. Um, and as we get after we get the new harvester, I think we are going to start actually redoing the farm and getting some buildings out here. Because I know we have plans to put buildings out here and everything like that. And we just haven't done it yet. So I eventually I want to get that rolling and everything like that. But uh, um, we'll get it going. So everything everything's going well on the farm. We're making good money and everything like that. So it's all good. It's all good. Now, I did think we could do could do oil of some kind, but I don't think the canola oil makes us any money, to be honest with you. Let me check my, um, I have like a nice uh, sheet I did to show off the profitability of productions, which by the way, cake is the most profitable base game production. Um, let's see here, the oils. Sunflower oil, you lose money. Olive oil, you make decent money canola oil you make a very small amount so it's honestly not worth it if you end up doing it so i'm not going to worry about that right now uh, let's go get this guy working over here and i do want to get the grass done too got a lot of stuff actually to do off camera here gonna get the silage done and then hopefully this year we can get some stuff sold uh, but i will bring you back in obviously after the harvest is done just so you guys can see what we've accomplished you know how much we've gotten off the fields and everything like that because uh, i think that's important um, i'm going to do actually a headland up this way just to hopefully make it a little bit easier so that way there's a little bit more room to turn around at this end. There's plenty of room at the other end, but I'll do that just so there's some room at this end and then get ready to mention a few. I'm um, thinking I got a couple here I can read. They haven't read. Uh, first one is from Kellen W. said, Good evening. I've noticed that someone has purchased that old farmstead in No Man's Land and that someone has opened a biomass plant. The area is perfect for me to open up K&W Fuel Company, a gas station, truck stop, and fuel delivery service. K&W Oil Com or Fuel Oil Company will be a small, locally owned business to provide service to rural areas, small towns, farmers, truckers, travelers, and everyone in between. Um, so yeah, I, I appreciate that um, business idea. Obviously, we have a couple of fuel stations already on the map. Uh, if I do add another one, I'll actually probably come back to uh, that. But I wanted to say thank you, Kellen, for the comment, my friend. You are awesome. So I really do appreciate you. Um, so yeah, wanted to thank you for that. Um, continuing on, we have Red Mysticilla said, "I have noticed a lot of forestry movement uh, going up on the or going on up at the old man's land ranch, and was wondering if you'd be interested in selling some of the wood to me. I'd like to open a small sawmill off the road, and I feel this would be beneficial to both of us. I've also heard rumors of a furniture store being talked about. I feel this could be a good opportunity to help us all thrive in these tough times. Sincerely, Jeff, aka Red Mist. So thank you, Red Mist Killer. I appreciate it. Um, we obviously have a." We have a furniture factory. We have two sawmills on the map. So um, it just seemed excessive probably to add a third one. So I do appreciate you, my friend. So thank you for the comment. Um, Basket said, Deer Logistics is an old forest company. Um, they've heard about a beautiful forest on Land 12, and they are interested in buying. They'll be building a sawmill next to it to get some houses built in the region. And again, another, uh, another um, essentially, a sawmill forestry operation, which 
I don't think we need any more on the map. But um, those are the couple that I wanted to mention this episode. So thank you for that. Um, I'm going to put a little break in here. I'm going to get a lot of stuff done off camera here. We have a lot of harvest to do. So um, hopefully we can get, um, again, this field, this field, this field, and then these two fields mowed and bailed up for silage. So we got a lot to do. And then hopefully at the end of the episode, um, at a minimum, we're going to show you what we've earned. And then hopefully we can sell off maybe some of our products that we got. So we can start making a little bit of extra money or show off some of that money. So um, there you go. I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right. Welcome back in, everyone. So the soy harvest is done. And we did not get anywhere near what I thought we'd get. But we still did good because 148000 sold at. If we get $1,200 per thousand liters, that's, oh, gosh. We probably have, if I can calculate right here, we have hundred almost 149000 So times 1200 We'll make about 178,000, 180,000, somewhere in that range, which is not too bad. Um, so I'm happy with that. We got all that done. I also decided um, that we probably should plant some more uh, barley. So I have barley out here. I did use our small little itty bitty planter wherever it's at out here. Uh, that guy right there, the 8350. I know we have um, this guy here, and our plan is to get a bigger one, but I was kind of pressed up against time. It's because we're going to do barley. We have to do it in October here. Um, and we're probably not going to be able to afford that cedar till somewhere in here or even a little bit for next year we'll have it. But um, we should, yeah, I mean, we should have it for next year, but just for the time being, I just wanted to get that planted. So what I did do a little bit different too as well, um, I planted it using that planter and that planter puts a layer of fertilizer down. So that was layer one. Then I went over the field with the uh, sprayer to get rid of the weeds. It doesn't have any weeds, but I did it just, um, it's wasting a little bit, but that's okay. The worker's doing it. Um, obviously, I didn't have any weeds yet, but that should be a preemptive spraying, and that should work um, to get rid of any weeds in the future. And then because that changed the soil state, it allowed me to, oh, he's done. We'll just go ahead and finish this up here. We can probably take two off of that um, and see how that goes. Yeah, that'll be perfect right there. Uh, but anyhow, that uh, allowed me to be able to go on here and again, get it all fertilized. So we won't have to worry about this until it's harvest time. And I'll try to do the same thing with these three fields. Um, obviously we're not doing any silage harvest yet over here because um, we just don't have the equipment for it and make sure I'm actually getting the whole field. That would be nice. There we go. I'll come back and clean that up here in a second. Uh, but yeah, so we're getting things done. Things are happening. Things are good. Um, next episode, we should hopefully sell off all the soybeans, all the flour, all the eggs, and probably some more planks as well. Um, and our silage. So we have a lot. And I did finish the silage harvest up over, there we go, over that way um, on our couple of fields. So we have three big stacks of uh, bales over there. And those are 7,500 liters of bale. They're big old bales. So um, that'll be that'll be perfect. So we should be making a lot of money next episode. I anticipate next episode we'll pull in about $500,000 if all goes well. Well, maybe not. So 180 from the soy, probably um, probably about 100,000 from the flour, maybe 100,000 from planks. Um, and maybe a hundred thousand from eggs ish, maybe something like that. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but at least we only need to like, I mean, two or 300,000 to buy, um, our other half of our cedar, which would be great. And then we can start saving up for, hopefully I want to get like a massive harvester. Um, uh, eventually we'll want to get two, but I think if we get a massive harvester, I think we'll sell off our small little John Deere harvester once we get that one, because we don't use that harvester anyways, to be fair. Um, but then we will sell that off. Um, and then we'll have three harvesters, which will have the two case running and then our new massive one. And then eventually we'll sell the case ones off and buy a second massive one. I think that'll be kind of our goal. Uh, but to be fair, it doesn't take too long for us to harvest things right now. Um, it did take probably about an hour or so to harvest all this. So it did. I mean, it took a fair amount of time. Don't get me wrong. And that's real time. Maybe even more than that. It might have taken about an hour and a half to get all these fields harvested of soy. And that's not including the barley field because we didn't have to harvest that one because it was already harvested. But so, yeah, it does take quite a bit of time to get all that squared away. So that's one thing we have to just be uh, cognizant of. Um, it'd be nice to get a harvester that actually does it a little bit quicker. But, um, oh, gosh, I thought that was not done. I was like, what in the world happened up there? Exciting. But it's all good. Um, I haven't done a lot since last he was on here. Last uh, episode probably ended in the beginning of winter, kind of that sort of zone. Um, so we are here. It is a spring now, March 1. We are year 19 on this map, which is awesome. We're doing really good, though. Um, so, yeah, I did a few things. I sold a few things off camera. I sold our silage bales that we had. We had a bunch of silage bales over here. They're gone now. Sold those for $95,000. Uh, we had a ton of eggs. So if you remember, we used to have our chickens over here, but now we have gotten rid of them. Say goodbye to our chickens. Um, they are gone. I sold all the eggs that we had over here because a price, a good price came up. We got 85,000 for the eggs. 
I also sold all the flour we had. Well, we have more now, but um, when we had a good price, I sold all the flour that we had at that time, which made us $86,000. And I did buy us, if you remember, we bought this guy, I think it was last episode, uh, bought this guy, our sugar, or not sugar, our uh, corn silage header harvester dealio there. I bought a header for it. So now we have a header that was used as well. So we got a great deal on that. Uh, now it's only five, 5.4 meters. So basically I looked at it, it was used. Um, and when I was looking at headers for forage harvesters, let's go to our forage harvester here. So the forage harvester we have is this guy right here. We own one of these guys. So if I go combinations, I was like, okay, well this one would be nice. Um, this one's six meters here, which six meters would be nice. because That's the widest. We go down here to the header that come with the pack. It's 5.3 meters. So it'd be nice to get the larger one. However, this is 80 grand, which is more than the harvester itself costs. And this was only, I think, $8,000 used. So we got a really good deal on that. Uh, so that's why I decided that was probably just a better idea to go with that. Uh, obviously, we have some barley growing over here. Um, so that's going to be... Oh, let me turn... Let me mute my self in here. Go to this. Mute that. So that little pop-up doesn't pop up down there. Um, I don't think it's actually coming through at all. But hopefully there's no feedback or anything like that. But anyway, uh, we don't have any animals right now. Um, our productions, we do need to sell some planks off here really quick. We're almost out of wood, which is fine. Um, and then we probably could sell wood chips actually as well. Um, lime production, there's no stones there right now. Uh, barley flour, it's still... Why is it stopped? Is the output... Oh, the output's full. Oh, I have to get in here and probably tell the uh, trailer to load up those pallets here. So if I open the help menu, then it'll start to... As they start spawning out, theoretically. Yep, there we go. As they start spawning out, it will uh, load them in there automatically. And I think we have some barley in this trailer. We have 19,000 liters in this trailer. Uh, we have none in storage right now. And those are our productions that we have going on. Now, if we go to our storage, we do have our soybeans, which we are waiting for hopefully about $1,200 a liter or $1,200 per thousand liters. A liter would be uh, ridiculous. Uh, hopefully in June of this year. So we're going to wait to sell those off. Um, but yeah, and then we can sell wood at any time because obviously we have that contract with Williams Furniture. So that won't be a big deal, big deal to do that. So yeah, that's what we have going on. Barley's growing. Um, I want to talk with you guys about what we want to grow in our other fields. So obviously, um, well, we have, we go here we go. We have these three fields. This one, I think we go ahead and plant corn for silage and see how that goes this year. Do our first silage harvest um, since we kind of talked about that. Um, I do think that we'll probably put the, the fermenter over here and do that sort of thing. Um, I think we can afford it. We have 320,000. I know we can afford it. So it shouldn't be a big deal for us. Um, and then we have for, are these guys fertilized, fertilized. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to fertilize all these guys as well, which is not a big deal. Um, and then these two fields, we kind of need to talk about and figure it out. Now, currently, they don't require any lime, but I did think that for this year, just to start getting it, I, what I did want to do originally is wait to extend this field out to here until this needed lime as well. But I think what we'll do is we'll extend it and we'll just lime the whole field so we don't have to worry about it when this part needs to be limed. Um, I think it's just going to be... Well, actually, you know what? Um, what we'll do is we'll just lime this section of it and then eventually this section will need to be limed and we'll just get the whole thing then because this is a big part to lime. So that'll probably be next year, I think, based on my calculations. Um, but we'll try to get that done. Now we can also, too, as well, obviously we own... This is the land we own. So um, this is where I want to put some animals at some point. That may not happen this year in game, but I think what we can do this year is get this extended out and then maybe we can start working on clearing trees up here. So eventually we can put a big field up there. I think that would be good for us. So um, that's the plan. Um, eventually we'll keep buying some more land and doing that sort of thing. But I'm liking that we're, I think that that's going to be the extent. And especially if we get a big field up there, that's going to be the extent of what we want to work with, with the equipment that we currently have. I think at that point, we're going to start wanting to get some bigger equipment. So in terms of what we can plant, corn, corn, we, we're just going to do corn down here. So we'll start that for this year. That's all we're going to do just to see how that kind of goes. So corn, we can wait till April to plant. Now, other things we can plant, um, let's see here. Um, we can't do wheat or barley theoretically, but we'll probably, if we go back to that, our barley field will get harvested here. We're probably going to plant... Honestly, we're probably going to keep planting this field with barley every year and just keep yeah, that field as just our barley field. That's probably just going to be the plan for that field. Um, but there are things we can plant. Let's see here. Um, we could do some oats. Oats wouldn't be half bad. Um, sunflowers would be great. Do we have, I can't remember what headers we have actually for sunflowers. Um, if we go to what we own here, do we have, yeah, we have, we do have a nice corn header actually, which is not bad. Um, we could also buy some better headers there, but. Obviously, the best setup we have is for these guys at 8.5 meters. 
Uh, so maybe for now, for this year, well, we're going to make a lot of money off of the soy as well um, that we're going to sell that we haven't sold yet. So if we go to shopping in here, we could potentially get ourselves some bigger. Um, is that one we own? Yeah, we own one of those. It'd be nice to have bigger headers, though. That one's six meters. That one's, yeah, those are those are faster running ones there. The corn, those are faster corn. They're unrealistic. They're, well, that one's not, it says. Yeah, oh yeah, 60 miles an hour. Never mind. That one would be fine. I wouldn't mind owning that one. Nine meters. What does that say it's supposed to go to? Obviously, the Colossus, which has 900, 1800 horsepower. So it might be a bit of a push to work with that with our harvester. Um, we could also go with, um, we go back if we're going to do, if we're going to do sunflowers regularly, we could get a couple of, uh, Helianthus headers, which that's actually a nice, that's a small Helianthus header there, uh, 5.7 there. We'd want to want to get the bigger ones. We should have, we should have bigger ones. There we go. There's a, there's a bigger one there. That one's, uh, 12 meters. Yeah. I don't know. So maybe just for now we hold off on doing that. We just focus on the grain until we get some bigger, uh, bigger uh bigger headers for that so uh maybe this year what we can do we could do soy again soy is not a bad one um oats also isn't a bad one so yeah i don't want to just keep doing soy so maybe this year what we'll do is we'll plant oats in these two fields and then we'll do a big oat harvest so we'll do oats through there and oats there just to kind of change it up a little bit so i think that's what we'll do and if we go to here we can plant those now so we'll go ahead and do that now so what i'm going to do basically off camera is I'm gonna to try to add a couple more businesses. You guys are giving me some more ideas. Again, the town is still growing and everything like that. So I wanna do a bit of an expansion um, on the town itself. So I'm gonna to try to do some of that off camera to show you guys later. Um, I'll probably do that in the background while the oats are getting planted and then hope I'm a fast forward time to get some corn planted. And at some point in here, we're gonna sell the soybeans and then we'll be able to uh, hopefully harvest uh, the barley about then. So I'll probably bring you guys back in about time. We're selling soybeans, harvest and barley. So I'm gonna start working on getting that done. And then also, of course, I'm gonna to try to plow out the rest of this field over here. So that's my plan. But uh, yeah, it's good to be back on no man's land. We're going to make some good money, I think, and do that sort of thing. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, welcome back, everyone. So I actually did a recording in between the first chunk of this episode and this chunk, but for whatever reason, my mic disconnected. I don't know what was going on. Anyway, I didn't record any audio. It was only like two or three minutes anyway, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, things are happening. So I have... Since I last saw you, I did all the work on the fields, and I think I mentioned this um, in the previous one as well. I planted soy on these two fields because of our planter situation. We don't have our big cedar yet, so our cedar would have had to been this guy. If we wanted to plant these fields, which by the way, I extended this one out as well, would have had to plant them with the small cedar, which would have taken an age and a half. It took long enough with the large planter, so these both have soy on them again until we at least can get... Uh, this thing completed and all set up and good to go. So they're ready to harvest now. I also did our silage harvest um, and I also took care of the fields, obviously, and we have corn down here. Everything's ready to harvest. Everything's ready to go. Um, it is October. I waited until October. I wanted to originally plant barley here because I had to wait until July to harvest it, but this is a perfect window where I can have a worker working on planting the barley where I can harvest the corn for silage and I can also have the soybeans harvesting as well in the background. And also, our grass is ready for another harvest, I believe, as well. Yes, yeah, so everything is ready to go. There's a lot to be done. I believe that's ready, isn't it? Yes, it is ready. So everything is ready to go right now. So I have a lot of stuff I can work on and do. Um, a lot of this stuff will kind of happen in the background. But, uh, well, for starters, let's uh, actually get this guy hired. Because this will take a hot minute to get this planted with barley again for next year let's hire a worker to do that there we go okay again that will take a long time to plant this whole field so want to get that one rolling as soon as possible um what i can do is start the soybean harvest as well um they'll probably get full pretty quick there we go full forward hire you to do that and then i have another harvester over here ready to go for this field i'm going to start this guy up i think we're going to dump some barley in here and then we're going to put the rest into the silo so that way it's ready to unload this harvester that way i have a truck and a trailer for each harvester because this one's obviously going to be on this field and that one's going to be working on the other field so um we're going to get even more soy and i did sell our soybeans off you can see our money went up i sold all of our soybeans that we got off the last to harvest for $189,000, which that was not including this chunk of field here well this pretty much this whole chunk here 
we didn't have yet. So now that we have this, we're gonna get even more this year. So um, that is fantastic. We should do really well. So right now our farm is doing really good. We're making probably, uh, it's probably not uncommon for us to make half a million or more a year um, on a regular basis, which is really nice. So um, with that being said, we are doing a-okay. We are doing real good. Make sure to this. Yep, okay, perfect. So let's go get this dumped into the silo. I didn't keep track of necessarily how much barley uh, we got because it's going to be pretty much the same or very similar to um, the years in the past since we're just using that one field for barley pretty much at this point. Uh, but yes, we're finally going to do some farm upgrades. Our farm really is desperate for, well, obviously we're starting, our, our equipment is slowly getting upgraded, which is great. But what our farm is honestly desperate for is some new buildings and some looks. This this farm is still running off of a lot of the decrepit kind of old buildings that we started in episode one, and now we're on episode 58, which, by the way, that's crazy that this is episode 58. I should note that as well. Um, thank you guys for being so supportive of this series. I know this is usually a lot of you guys' favorite series, and I it's one of my favorite ones to do, so I'm happy that it is successful in that way. So, anyhow, that is what we have going on. I'm going to pull this guy right here for this field, and then I'm gonna get this guy stage over here, and then I have um, my salvage setup over there, good to go. Which we can get a worker probably hired on that. I want to see how the worker is gonna go. Um, I selected, I bought one of the Augur Master trailers to go with it, and I'll show you that in a second if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna park you here. That'll be good enough for now. Um, so we'll hop over here now that everyone's working. Um, oh, actually, no. The other thing, I, don't, I didn't mean to hop here, but that's okay. This is all good to go. So there's the Augur Master trailer. So it's very large. So I don't know how it's going to do turning around with a small harvester. So we'll see kind of how that goes. There's still a weird glitch here where there's like a weird wall. But uh, regardless of that, um, I'm going to try to get this mode as well. I want to get everything rocking and rolling. This episode, so typically my episodes, if you're new to my channel especially, are typically about... 20 minutes ish that's like right about where i try to shoot for um this one might be a touch longer than that some of you guys say that i should do a lot longer episodes but uh this doesn't always work out that way so i just kind of try to do what i can do um for me 20 to 25 minutes is usually i mean that's usually pretty good this one will probably be 25 to 30 uh, but we'll see i could also be completely wrong about that but uh let's get you right there is probably pretty good how are you make sure you get going good Perfect. And now the whole, well, where are we at over here? Right there. There we are. This guy, let's get you fired up. I'm hoping this trailer works. I didn't even try that. I did actually end up just leasing it. Um, but as you know, we can eventually just purchase it for, yeah, it's not going to be a big deal. But I didn't want to have too many expenses out because I didn't know how long or how much it was going to cost to. That was weird backing up. Oh, it might be that weird wall thing that's here. We'll see. Let's see how this goes. So far, that's not great. Oh, we also probably should get some silage additive. Yeah, this is not good. Is that? Yeah, that's going to be a problem. So, okay. That answers that question. This trailer will not work for it. Oh, you can turn. Oh, sorry. Doing all over the place here. There we go. So this trailer's not going to work for us, and I was worried it might not, so at least we leased it. So I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to return that. Uh, and I like to use the store delivery mods because it makes my life easier. So I'm going to just go ahead and deliver us a new trailer. Because uh, the trailers we have now are not really great for this sort of thing. Um, this one would work, but it's not. It's very small capacity. It would take, we have to unload it regularly. These two are too big. So let's go into trailers here. Since the auger master is not going to work, which honestly is a huge disappointment. So I did think about using, uh, where is it at? There's a lot of trailers in here. This guy, but I don't think that hitch is going to work for us. I think we have to have a pin hitch. So that one's not going to work. Um, how big are, where are those other ones that I saw back here? These guys, how big are these guys? Oh, this is the yeah part of the TARDIS pack. Yeah, that makes sense. Those are going to be ridiculous capacities. 20, 30,000, 150, 200,000. Um, I typically don't like to use super unrealistic things. I might make an exception just because I don't want standard 150. Let's just do the standard one. That looks pretty normal. That's a that's pretty. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go ahead. And we're just going to buy that and hope it works. 
You do have to pay a little bit of a delivery fee, but I think that's worth it to not have to drive and go get your stuff. Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot better. It looks better. I know that the capacity is not super realistic, but at the end of the day, as long as we're still farming and doing this, um, I'm trying to make this easier on me and my time and everything like that. So there we go. Okay, that is working. Our silage harvest is underway. Our first silage harvest on here or corn, first corn silage harvest. It looks really nice. That just looks really, it does. That doesn't that just look nice, especially the town in the background, the fall. That just looks nice. I love it. All right, fantastic. So that is underway. Now everyone is working, which is good. I like it when everyone is working, doing their thing. So now we need to build over here. So I'm gonna try to get out of the way here a little bit. So we need to first landscape this down. This is gonna be, yeah, we gotta landscape this down, make it flat. Let's get this out here. A little bit more intense, a little bit bigger. So just gonna work our way across there. And this is gonna be an expensive project and I knew it would be. So I'm gonna make this whole area right here just flattened out. Yeah, a lot of our expenses are gonna come from landscaping, which is what I figured. And that's why I didn't wanna to get too much expensive, like a spend too much on a trailer or anything like that. Uh, so that's gonna go out that way. Okay. Now this is just gonna just make sure this is, this is kind of the plane that we're working on here. Uh, we'll get the smoother out and we can smooth some of that down just a little bit just to make it probably look a little bit more natural. All right, and then landscaping under painting here. Let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna make this just, I, I think this should be kind of a, a rock face. I think that looks the best. Um, especially for kind of just these kind of cut in areas like this one is. So I personally like to do this. I know you guys have seen me probably do a lot of landscaping and stuff like this in this series. You've seen some of the things like I've done in kind of in the town and things like that. And hopefully this has given you a lot of ideas. Sometimes I recommend people watch this series just to see ideas for what you can do with landscaping tool and stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, let's get our buildings placed and then we'll go from there. So production, we need ourselves a facility under here that is going to ferment our silage. That's our main kind of thing. So this is a fermenting silo. I don't like that. It's that that, that makes me nervous that it says that. Um, Omatana has a really good one. This one right here, this fermenting silo, which is very reliable. So I think we might use this. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be the one we're going to go with. I've used this one before. It's not that expensive. Um, but we'll keep going a little further because I also like to use new stuff as well to try to try different stuff out. Um, that's a grass drying silo. Um, that's a fermenting cell. Actually, you know what? We might go with this. Not anything that's Omotana stuff. Omotana does fantastic stuff. But this might just be kind of nice because it kind of, I like that style of silo, to be honest. And I think this would be nice to kind of change it up a little bit. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So what I'm going to do where do I want it is kind of the key question, to be honest. Uh, so we're going to use this one, but let's go ahead and do one other thing real quick. Um, Cause I want to grab a shed. I want to have a shed out here uh, to store stuff um, like our equipment. Um, it doesn't have to be crazy large, but I want it to be, I need it to be decently large. Um, that one would probably be fine. Kind of tucked away in the corner. I kind of like that one actually. Um, it doesn't, again, it has something crazy. There's not gonna be a ton of stuff that's out here. So I actually really like this shit. I think this shit will be perfect for that. Um, let's go ahead and make sure I put this in here. There shouldn't be any color options for this in the tank. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I want this to be kind of tucked in the corner here. It can be angled out a little bit. That's fine. So that angle is about perfect. Yeah. That angle about perfect right there okay so it did do some weird stuff in my landscaping which i was worried it might do uh but that's fine let's go back to the landscaping here I actually might be able to fix some of that up a little bit uh, if we go yeah soften some of that out just to make it look more natural and normal at least a little bit more um there that's not too bad okay and then painting um just behind it can just be some dirt i think actually you know what grass is going to look better i'll put some grass back there just to make it look more normal a little bit a little bit of grass painted texture back there through there and then i'm gonna put um let's put some grass in there nothing crazy just enough to kind of 
yeah just like that okay perfect so that is in there um and that looks fantastic and that's gravel which i think is great for over here uh so that's the shed that i want i think that'll be perfect for what we're doing um because we can have kind of a row for our, our harvester our trailer and then a tractor probably can fit on one side and then eventually we'll keep a tractor over here because we'll have a plow and a cedar and all that good stuff might have a couple tractors depending on this but this will be essentially kind of uh, and fertilizer sprayers and spreaders and stuff like that will go over here to be able to support doing this field for fertilizer and this field for fertilizer and what it needs um, is kind of the uh, the long-term goal, I think, of this uh, section right here. Uh, but actually, because I'm going to want to do a thumbnail at some point, I'm actually going to unhire this guy and have him hang out there for a second. Um, oh, we should have gotten some silage out of that, but I totally forgot about that. Um, I'll do that here in a second as long as I remember. I guess I should... Yeah, hopefully I remember. But, uh, okay. So, yeah. I think this looks great. Um, I want to smooth this out a little bit more. So, let's go back to landscaping here. Yeah, I want that to be nice and smooth. As smooth as possible there. Because this is going to have to kind of loop up. There's going to be like a little road to get over to... Um, the field. Yeah, just kind of like that. I think that's where we'll connect it up there. Let's make that a lot smaller. Yeah, we'll just kind of kind of work it into the field a little bit there. Sorry, I killed a little bit of our field. Uh, but that's okay. Okay, yeah, so something like that. It's not perfect, but I think that'll be that'll be good for what we need here today. Uh, production. Okay, let's go back in there. That was in the $50,000 range. There is the grass drying. There's the fermenter. Okay, so fermenting wise, I think we'll put it, I think we'll put it like right here um, because I, then if we can also add another one too if we'd like to, but we'll do right there for now and then we'll do back to landscaping, painting, and then we'll do some gravel. So we do our, our roads first here. So this is going to connect up there to that. And then this is going to go down there, just kind of like that. I want that to be grass there. I don't want this to be just completely like I just look like a yard. Um, I don't want it to be a complete gravel pit over here. Um, I want it to look fairly normal. Um, this over here will be kind of essentially a parking area. So I know I said without, I know I didn't want it to be a full gravel lot, but that part will, will be a little bit more like that. Um, that can be filled in there. And then this I want to just loop into there just like that okay and then in terms of grass texture oops, i keep hitting the wrong button there we go i think that's the that's the texture i think is going to be what i want for around the silo that can go right up to the silo and just kind of out like that maybe a little bit less there just a little bit less there yeah, like that. Okay, that's perfect. Now, if we go to plants, um, I would like to have a couple of... Well, let's do the grass first. The grass has got to kind of go down first. Um, so just some grass around there like that. To make it look nice. I like that. Perfect. Okay, now I do want a couple of, like, little... kind of some bushes in there Make it look more natural I like that there we go and then maybe some bushes through here that actually could be just bushes there a little bit more bushes there and then I do need some more grass I guess here now I'm just getting rid of my bushes of course but along there some back there through there okay and then this can be grass just along there up on top there fill that all in grass and then this of course across the back here also can be grass and just like that we have our little setup to be able to do our silage and everything like that so that is kind of what i'm after i think that'll be perfect just for now and we're still doing pretty good on money so that's that and if we go into our we'll let it say that's fine we go into our production facilities here now we have this going for us so how much can I do in a day? 60,000 in a day. Well, in a month, I guess, technically. So it'd be about 30,000 a day. So we'll see how that goes. Um, that actually might not be fast enough. It might have to build a second one of these, but I'm okay with that. 
um it was only again 50 grand for that is not bad we could put two side by side and i think it would still look real good over here so um there we go okay um we are continuing where we left off i have our harvesters working i'm just getting them unloaded right now and of course we have this guy over here well he's seeding he's trying to seed all the barley here for us and then as you know we have this going on down here we are getting our silage harvest done which is awesome so they are working hard at that uh but yeah i'm just gonna keep doing our thing that's our little silage area i'm excited to have this all set up because i think we'll make a lot of money off of that but uh yeah i'm just gonna keep getting stuff done i'm gonna keep walking through harvest i don't think you guys have seen me you guys have seen me harvest a million things before so i don't think you guys need to be here for that um but yeah things are going well we're gonna make a lot of money i think off our soy and everything like that we may do a uh well, we probably won't expand the farm, I guess, today per se, but we will probably do some new businesses today. I think that's part of the plan. But uh, yeah, our farm is making progress. We're doing a lot of good work on it. And uh, yeah, things are good. I know I haven't been posting a ton of No Man's Land. I, I'm going to try to do one episode a week. I think for me, that's fairly doable. Um, at the worst case scenario, it'd be every other week, which I also think is fine. Um, it's just kind of difficult because I'm also trying to do other series as well and everything like that. I know not everyone is invested into the No Man's Land series, especially as long as it is. But those of you that are invested are very invested, so I don't want to just give up on it. So we're going to keep rocking and rolling. The goal is to go to 100 episodes. I don't know if we'll make it. Um, this might just be something that, excuse me, just keeps going until the new farm sim comes out. But we'll see. We're just going to keep doing our thing. Or if we do get to a place where it seems like a good spot to make kind of a logical conclusion, we'll stop there. But regardless of that, I'm going to keep doing our harvest, and I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, welcome back. I've made a lot of progress. Um, as you can see, our cornfield here is harvested. I gotta get it plowed and so we can get it repurposed next year, but we'll get plowed and rocks done. Right now, everything else has been harvested. If we go to, actually, wait a second. Did we put all that in there? We did, let's park this guy out of the way. I also have a harvester I need to put away as well, but it should be empty. We'll just park this guy around here. There we go, that should do it, okay. Turn him off. Perfect. Let's grab this guy. Get you put away. Yep, you're empty. Beautiful. We're going to sell that small John Deere harvester at some point as well. Probably when we redo the sheds and everything. Um, so I think the next major purchase we need to get is to get that cedar upgraded so we can actually do other seed crops, not just planted crops, which is great. So I think that'll be our next major purchase. We'll probably do that this episode quite honestly. So we'll get that. That might even be that thumbnail. Who knows? But uh, yeah, so I don't know if the thumbnail is going to be yet. Uh, we'll just put back this guy in there turn that off perfect but yeah we'll sell the little john deere back there and the two headers i have for it so we need to get an attachment for this bad boy right here that's gonna be the plan um there's nothing on sale or anything that we need right um that's a cool looking little tractor right there i do like that but we don't need it as much as i'd love to buy just random things that we don't need as you guys know uh we have a lot of equipment um and again we have plenty big tractor to haul that or to pull that we just need to get yeah, that setup done so yeah, we're getting this plowed, which is great. Now, in terms of the harvest, do we have any loans out? We don't, right? No, okay. Good, good, good. And then actually in our thing, do we have anything leased? We don't. Okay, got it. So I'll make sure we own everything. Um, but if we go down here to, actually it's up here. How much soy do we get off of our fields? We got 146,000 liters of soy, which is great. We'll be able to sell that in June again. Uh, right now, prices are terrible. That's, yeah, terrible prices. But yeah, we'll be able to sell it in June again. And then silage in January, we'll be able to sell it this winter, hopefully. Um, yeah, we'll be able to sell it this winter. So we have our last round of silage bales are done. So I did all this, finished all the silage, which I was also working on off camera just now. But uh, anyhow, so all the silage is done, which is great. So we have lots of bales here, which are these 7,500 liters. So we'll get these guys sold off as well. And then our cornfield, what did we get off of that? Um, well, actually, let's, cut, let's run over this way. I'm just gonna zoom this way real quick, okay come across here so i actually bought another fermenter because this one got full and it doesn't have a hard or a very large capacity now given it does process it fairly quick so it probably would have been all right but the harvest would have technically had to take two days because we would have had to pause while this ferment so i decided to be easier just to buy another one not a big deal i've got the harvester parked over here i put a repair trigger here and a fuel tank over here and i did buy the fuel and you are going to wonder why i had to say that but if we go into here and take a look at where's diesel at in here there it is, diesel. For whatever reason, it's free across the board. I don't know why that's that way. So anytime I tried to put any fuel in here, it was like, it's free. And I was like, well, that's not right. So I just paid $2 per liter. So I paid $10,000 to fill this up. So I figured that was a reasonable price uh, just for now. Uh, but yeah, so our fermenters over here. So this first one, 
well, actually, this is our first one technically, has 249,000 and some silage already happening and 60,000 liters a month, so 30,000 a day. And then this guy over here has 177,000. So we'll be able to sell all that off in winter, but overall, we did really good off of that silage harvest and that's gonna make us a lot of money, which is great. Um, so this is gonna be all we're gonna do, the bales. We're not gonna do any grass work the next couple of years, or at least not until we do animals, and then we can do grass work just for animal purposes. Uh, but I'm not gonna do it for uh, silage anymore. I know we make a lot of money off it, but it is a lot of work. This guy's doing terrible. For whatever reason, this little, if I just go in a build mode here, this little section of the field is not very worker happy. And I know there's a weird collision over here, so I don't know if that has something to do with it, but it does not like to, this, this field is just very non-worker friendly, which is, it's fine, I'll fix it up later. But uh, yeah, as you can see there, that's a bit of a problem. But anyhow, so um, yes, I will, probably bring you guys back in to sell off our silage, at least one load of our silage. We're gonna have a lot of silage to sell, um, but yeah, cause there's that weird, yeah, right there, weird collision right here. And I think that it affects this field. It's the only thing over here that I think that can affect that. But yeah, it's so strange. It's not on the field though. So I wonder if I plowed this and then repainted over it, that might get rid of that collision actually. Yeah, I just don't know what's there. But uh, maybe I'll try that. Oh no, there's a collision right there as well. So never mind. It has nothing to do with that. But uh, it is weird. Uh, anyhow, so yeah. And then hopefully we'll add in, uh, well, add in some, uh, what we call it as well, some uh, new businesses or houses or something or some part of the town will get added in. So I'll do that off camera to get that all set up for you guys to see. Uh, but everything is going well. I'm not sure we're going to plant next year. And I actually need to take a look. How much is that going to cost us? We're gonna have to buy it new. I guess we could also lease it to start, which is totally fine. Um, I'd rather pay just pay for it outright if I can. Where's our cedars? So if we scroll way down here, we have this one we have. Yeah, we own one of these guys. So combination, this goes with this guy right here, which is the 23.2 meter one. Um, 273. Is there a bigger one than that? That's this guy right here, the 23.2 meters. There is a bigger one, 30.5. Good gravy. Um, that is crazy. Uh, but yeah, I think this will be fine for now. I think we will just end up sticking with that. And we'll eventually maybe get a second set of those or maybe a set of this to go with it. Um, eventually our farm's gonna get just massive, and that's the kind of the point. Um, but yeah, so we'll we'll get the, we'll end up buying that at some point. So we either pay for it outright, obviously we can't afford it yet, but we should after we sell the silage be able to afford that. So that's kind of what we're working towards. Um, and then I think after we get that, oh gosh, I'm getting stuck again. I think our next upgrade after that might be getting some buildings and some equipment done over here. Well, I'm just, I'm hesitant to spend money on the buildings when I could spend money on equipment first. So we might get more equipment first uh, to make sure everything over here is squared away. Eventually we'll get to a point where we have just the best of the best stuff. Everything's high tech, expensive, and good to go. And our farm's even bigger. Um, but in terms of, I guess our farm as well, obviously we own this chunk of land here. So eventually I wanna put animals over here because I think that's a good spot for them. Then we have our grass fields there. Um, this, this field is fine. Eventually I want to put a field up here since we own that. And then I also want to extend these fields over, um, once we own the land over here, which I did think about buying this, which actually, you know what, let's just go ahead and buy that since it's not that expensive. Uh, right now we'll be able to get more money later. Uh, cause eventually we are going to want to buy all those. Ooh, 34% off too on that one. They do want to buy all the land around us. Let's go ahead and buy that as well. Um, I know we're not going to necessarily use that stuff right away, but that's starting to get us some more land. Um, this silage field, we may extend it this way more. I always forget this. These guys are over here too. My little, uh, where I sold that. Because I guess, yeah, we're about to own up to this point, which is going to make it weird to be kind of right up against the farm we used to have. Um, but that's fine. Everything's going good. And obviously the rest of that's the city and everything like that. Um, that'll continue this way. We're only going to buy out to about here and probably only this row. And that'll probably be as big as our farm gets uh, by the end of the series. That's kind of the plan. And uh, are any of these crazy on sale as well? 22% off is pretty good, but um, we could probably do better. And especially since we don't need the land right now. But uh, yeah, and obviously we'll do some more stuff with uh, the lumber and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to get this plowed. Good to go. And I'll bring you guys back in, I think, when it's time to sell off some of our silage that we have since we have quite a bit of it. So I'll see you guys later on. All right, welcome back in, everyone. We are continuing on our quest to make a lot of money. I don't know. <laughs> we don't really have a quest. I did buy $18,000 worth of fertilizer off camera, and I sold $60,000 worth of flour. Um, and 
we well, actually we can just leave this guy alone. We are ready to sell some silage. We have a price of 195. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, if we go where are we at? Here we go. Yep, 195. If I tag that, that should be just the BGA just up the road. Yes. So I'm hoping we can sell it everything there, no problem. Um, sometimes it's weird selling stuff to the BGA since it's yeah, so we might just have to pay ourselves back for it. But actually, what we're going to do, we're going to use a tractor to do this because we're going to use the trailer we have over there because <laughs> the TARDIS trailer has a uh, very large capacity, if you know what I mean. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, so as we're driving over there, I also off camera, I fertilized this again and did the weeds on it. Um, but while we're driving over there, um, this one's not done yet so that one still has a lot of uh, work to be done in terms of that but that's okay we'll sell everything we got right now and the rest we can sell off next year not a big deal we'll just keep that cycle going um since it didn't quite finish which is not a problem again not a problem so all right let's grab this guy i'm just gonna park this I just parked him separately anyways it just kind of makes more sense i think but well, eventually we'll get a truck trailer that has the capabilities of holding more, but to do the same amount, we have to do three loads of the truck, so it just makes sense to use this trailer, at least for right now. I use it for the soy as well. <laughs> just, I know the trailer's a little cheaty, and I know I try not to do cheaty stuff on this series for the most part, but uh, I mean, it's just me saving a couple of loads, so. Um, oh, we can move the chaff out of these as well. That's interesting because we could theoretically move some of the chaff over. Good to know. We can move the chaff out of there. But yeah, we'll load the silage up there. I'm assuming it's going to sell just fine. I Well, I shouldn't say I assume that. I'm assuming we're going to have issues, honestly. Um, I feel like I've had issues selling to the selling to the BGA before. So we'll get it in there. We'll get it over there and see how that goes. Um, and then I think we'll just keep jumping forward until uh, I think we'll end this, this episode in the spring again. Um, and then we'll probably start the next episode in, after that in the harvest time. But in the spring, what we'll do is we'll get started seeding with our new seeder and everything like that. Um, and keep rock and rolling and doing that. Oh, and I also have some new businesses that I want to talk about this episode as well. So we'll do that before we wrap up um, on this one. Um, you guys, I have still have like pages and pages and pages of your guys' business ideas, which is amazing that you guys were that into this. Um, and I only wrote down like the ones that were like good or I thought were, you know, whatever. But yeah, so... There's a lot of good stuff that you guys have provided for this series, and I really appreciate that. Now, obviously, I can't do all of those because, honestly, man, I don't have enough room on the map. And I already had one game crash earlier after I was adding a business in. So, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll add some businesses in, I think, this episode, um, which I think will be good. So, um, yeah, we'll add three businesses, I think, is my plan. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, three businesses. Two are kind of farms. Well... One is kind of a factory, one's kind of a farm, and one's a business. But they're all part of, you know, you guys adding in your own businesses and stuff. So um, it'll all work out. But, uh, yeah, we'll get those guys added in. And then I'll try to do at least three every episode um, just to keep that rocking and rolling. It does take me a long time to add the businesses, a lot of off-camera work, which is fine. Uh, the problem I have right now is I'm doing, obviously, trying to do No Man's Land and Frontier, which are both pretty off-camera intensive series. And what I mean by that is a lot of the stuff I need to do um, for those series has to happen off camera, which is fine. It's just I have only so many hours in the day. Uh, plus, if you guys don't know from being on my channel, I work full time as a police officer. So I'm a very demanding regular job. So, um, yeah, I just do what I can, you know, and I think you guys are usually pretty, pretty good with me just doing what I can. Um, it's dark up over here. I'll turn my lights on. But uh, yeah, so we're just making it happen as best as possible. 150,000 liters at 194 or 195 this should get us about 30 grand for this trailer which seems sad because there's a lot in here but it's 30 grand for this trailer and i think we have two more trailers so that's going to be close to 100 grand for that one field which is real good so i'm not upset about it it's going to be real good for us so really really good um crap i'm in the wrong lot i need to go over one more my bad I also could have maybe picked the, I guess I could have taken the Massey Ferguson. It would have been a little quicker. But that's okay. Um, nope, that's the rock lot with all the rocks everywhere. Here's where we need to go. Beautiful. Okay, we made it. Well, we'll see. 
yeah, we'll, we should be able to just dump this in. Hopefully it pays us. It also might have a capacity, which could run into some issues for us, but we will see. I think this whole thing is... Can I not... That's the other thing we could run into. Can I not dump this in here? Man, that's going to be... Well, that is not ideal. We might just sell this somewhere easier to sell. Uh, there's plenty of other places that are offering fermenting staves. I don't think we can sell their mini biogas plant. They got, well, sell everything containers got a really good price actually as well. Let's just go to the, well, the farm shop is fine as well. Um, so I'm going to drive up over there. I'm going to drive up over to the farm shop. Uh, I'll bring you guys back in here. Oh, we have bales. Of, these are not, we've already been paid for these. If I remember correctly, these were a problem. Let me just fix this. See, we've had, this is where I'm talking. I remember correctly, we've had some serious issues selling stuff over here. Um, so let me get rid of all of these. There we go. Okay. Let me turn that off before I do something I'm going to regret. But anyhow, I'm going to drive up over to the farm shop. We'll just sell there. Um, I'll untag this uh, for now. So I'll see you guys here in a second. All right. And we are pulling up here. Let's just pull over this and we will make plenty of money. It won't be quite as much, but we'll make plenty of money still. So one thing I like about these Tardis trailers, they unload really well. And I will write this amount down as well, because I'm curious how much total we're going to make off of all of our silage. So let's see here for the first load. Yeah, 28391. Plus, I have to get all those bales delivered up over here. Plus, um, yeah, so uh, yeah, plus we have all the rest of it in here. I think I'm going to move half of this over to this guy, uh, or to this guy, excuse me. So 76, so we need what? 35, 36 ish thousand in each one of these. So, just to help, uh, yeah, we already grabbed most of that, just to help uh, clear, get this cleared out of there faster, because then it might actually be done 30,000 a day. It'll be done pretty much by tomorrow. So, it'll actually be super helpful. But, anyhow, I'm going to sell a lot more of the silage off camera, um, and I'll bring you guys back in either in the, I'll, might be actually the spring, honestly. I might just bring you guys back in the spring when we're ready to buy our new uh, cedar or whatever the case may be. So, I'm just going to go sell all this stuff off and let you know the total that we get when we're done here. All right, spring has sprung and we sold all of our silage off. And then I <laughs> may have bought our new cedar. Uh, that's why our money's so low. Uh, but anyhow, we are going to head into town. Um, we're going to grab ourselves a coffee on the way, I think, at that little uh, Corgi Cafe place. So we'll do that. And then I got a couple new businesses to show you guys. And then hopefully we can get the spring planting started, which I think is pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited about that. So let's go ahead and uh, stop in here. I'll tell you what I normally get actually when I go to a coffee shop. I normally get a mocha with four shots of espresso and half of the chocolate flavoring in it. So I'll let them know that. Yes. Thank you, little Corey Gan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're good now. Got my coffee. I actually have my real coffee at my desk here. So it's all good. I actually do have coffee, which is great. Fantastic. Okay, so again, with my subscriber contracts or my subscriber businesses, I try to meet uh, the business as best as possible that still fits in the situation, storyline, whatever the case may be. But um, yeah, just kind of a disclaimer there. So first comment I have here from a subscriber. Oh gosh, smack that right there. Um, I was from Demon's Dragon. He said, here's an idea for my subscriber contract to start uh, maybe getting lumber and others to orders to build my building and we're releasing equipment to help in the building of a family restaurant that can butcher animals on the map buying many different things that involve production chains uh, sorry i'm trying to drive and read that's never a good idea um yeah nrp buying animals for meat products to sell in the restaurant etc if someone already got a restaurant then i wouldn't mind being a butcher and partners with them and hope you're having a wonderful time playing producing amazing content for us even with such a busy life always going to be an avid watcher thank you demons dragon i appreciate you and my truck died uh, we'll keep driving so I found this mod. Are you serious? We're dead again. We may stop by the old repair shop over at Todd's place just to get this baby fixed up so it doesn't drive me crazy. Uh, there's my, if you didn't see my video doing that, you should go watch it. I forgot I had that out here. Uh, but here we are. So I figured this is a good restaurant setup for it. Uh, so uh, Dragon's Restaurant. Here we are. Beautiful. It looks like, like a place you'd go get like a nice hearty steak and some a la carte stuff and all that. I mean, look at that. That just looks fantastic. So that's a little butcher slash restaurant area there. 
So I thought that was a good kind of, oh, need the chainsaw, good kind of setup for that. Um, but yeah, let me look down my list. Yep, two more. Okay, perfect. We can fold that up. Let's go to Todd's real quick and get this baby fixed up. Todd's has been on the map for a long time. Or drink coffee. Actually, you know what? We'll go, uh, we know that's Todd's right there, but we'll go right here because they're technically a repair shop here. What is this? Um, oh, Smith and Max. That's right. Darn it. Oh, it's not going to let me repair it either because it's not my vehicle. <laughs> oh, wait, no. We fixed that, didn't we? I put a repair trigger in the back that I own so I could actually, well, I could hit their generator. That's for one. I think I own this repair trigger. Yep, there we go. Okay, now the truck shouldn't die every time. Fantastic. Okay, so two more businesses, which are kind of, one's a production and one's kind of a farm. Um, but yeah, so I kind of, obviously, this is kind of our more downtown district. And then if we go across this road, we get kind of into a more industrial area, where, like where the quarry's at and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, I might also take uh, this, I might take this gas station and make it uh, either upgrade it. I think I might upgrade it to make it a little bit better. There's a lot of empty space in there. Um, but regardless of that, uh, if we come out this way, you need to put another wall in front of that actually at some point, but if we come out of this way up here on the left. We'll go to the right side in a second up here on the left. Some of the roads are a little, a little odd right now, a little off, um, uh, right here we have birch bark oils. So here is a, this is a comment from Troa, Troa Barton, which says, I would like to set up either fruit production or small red, or uh, fruit production, the small red one, or the oil production, the small red by Omatana. I actually used the white one because I thought it fit in better, better up here, but regardless of that. Um, uh, with a few birch trees around and a small house maybe, calling the business Birch Bark Oils Incorporated or Birch Bark Fruit. So we have Birch Bark Oils, we have an oil place here, and then we have a nice little residence. And then, yeah, I kind of, uh, Kind of weaseled it in here. I kind of flattened this uh, this little area into a plateau. Kind of smooth. It was just kind of a hill up to these rocks. So I thought that was kind of a cool little alcove to kind of build it. So I like where it's at here. Um, but yeah, so we have that. Now next up, we have a comment from Mr. Bojangles. This farmer cop, I'm looking to retire, move to the country, no man's land. This is perfect. I've spent my life as a Wall Street executive. Now I just want to get back to nature and build a nice mansion on a small patch of land, preferably by a lake or pond. Uh, requires some assistance in which I'd appreciate... Um, your discretion, I want to start a winery, which is illegal in the state of no man's land, thanks to Giants. I'm willing to pay a premium 20% on top of your best going offer for grapes. Um, we can just call it grape juice, sign Mr. Bojangles. But yeah, so I decided since I'm not in the grape business anymore, Mr. Bojangles needs a source of grapes. This is Bojangles Winery. So if we get into flight mode here, um, well, not let's say flight mode, but yeah, let's get it into actual flight mode. It'll just be easier to see what's going on. So if we get in the actual flight mode here, we have a nice little compound set up. So there's Mr. Bojangles' house. This is the biggest one we had, so I figured that's gonna have to do for the mansion, um, kind of up against the uh, cliff there. Um, I put a nice little pond in here for Mr. Bojangles. And over here, we have a nice, this is part of the great production mod. Um, and then we also have some lovely vineyards back here. Some nice uh, rows of grapevines and all that sort of stuff. So here we go, this is Bojangles Winery. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I was in the middle of building this, had this almost completely done when my game crashed the one time um, that I kind of told you guys about. Uh, so I'm glad my game is not crashed now. But uh, regardless of that, uh, good subscriber ideas. They're good subscriber businesses and farms and whatnot. So I'll try to add three. And I think I have, again, 14 pages of typed out stuff uh, from you guys. So we'll try to keep adding stuff in as we go. That is quite, I need to fix this hill up at some point. These roads get a little crazy. Might need a little bit of a little road grading out here. Nice sip of coffee there. But yeah, let's head this way. And I think, and I was a little worrying that the game crashed because this happened last time I did my No Man's Land series. Because what happens is at a certain point, which makes sense, this map is not designed to have 45 bazillion. No map is, to be honest. 45 bazillion placeables on it. So. Even my beefy computer is like, yeah, we shouldn't be doing this. So, oh, I want to park this in my garage. Um, drive around this way. There we go. Okay. 
now it's time to get over the weird collision that's right there uh so yeah so anyhow it's hopefully we don't get to a point where i have to stop adding stuff but that is a very real possibility so just be aware of that um every time you save in and out of the game this thing moves a little bit i don't think it has to do with the tractor i think it's the db120 db120 just has a mind of its own Is what we are going to do, well, at one point we are going to plant corn over there in our other field, but I'm going to grab this guy to, I think this guy has enough horsepower. I'd actually never really even, even bother checking. Uh, 583, yes, this has more for sure, and that should be just enough. I think these things require 500. So first things first, which is going to be the tricky part, is getting this loaded up with seeds and such and I think we can this runs off the back of that doesn't it yeah let's go get this thing loaded first with seeds can we pull this yeah there we go I'm gonna drive around this way I think that first tank is that first tank actually might be fertilizer we'll see here might also have to buy some more seeds I'm a little worried but what we are gonna try to plant I think is some oats I think we'll do a big oat harvest I think that'll be good Easy does it. Yep, that was the problem I was, knew I was going to run into a little bit. Oop, nope, don't need to chat. Hmm. I could just not be on the trigger. That might be part of the problem. There we go. Okay, well, I got that one to work. So the bigger tanks are seed, which is probably a good thing. Yep, I knew we'd run out of seed. But since we're here, we're just going to buy some more. We can't afford that much seed, so we got to be careful. We'll buy 10,000 liters. If we have to, we can take out a small loan. Not a big deal. Especially as much equipment as we have. That's not going to be a big deal for us. There we go. I'm getting fertilizer now. We're gonna have to buy more fertilizer too. All right, let me uh, let me get on the phone with Banks here. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me go down to where's our loan? Uh, take a loan, yay! Okay. Uh, well, we don't need that much. Let's just take out a, like a twenty-five thousand um, dollar three-year loan. Yeah. Now we'll do can we do one year. Probably just do one year. At twenty-one fifty a month, let's do a little bit higher since we're doing one year. Let's do. Let's just do that, and then we'll do a one year. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we got some money now because we needed it for this to get this rock and rolling. Um, let's get to fertilizer. Now I'm just gonna buy. I'll buy ten thousand. Then I'm also gonna buy five thousand. On top of that. There you go. Yeah, that already, yep. Yeah, I'm glad we took the larger loan. Of course, I gotta... But being glitchy. We'll be put fertilizer in here. Maybe we have to pull a little further off of it. There we go. Oh, it didn't take as much as I thought it was going to take more. Okay, let that fold. Let that fold down. There we go. Okay. We should never run out of seed. I know it's not true, but... We still have a crap ton of seed, which is great. Pull this, get the stage right behind this bad boy. Now, I will say this. It seems like 60 episodes almost. We're on episode 59. Almost is too long to have taken us to get to this point. But if you remember, we didn't get any really large equipment until after, after we finished the series, technically, last time. Because we went into kind of season two of it. Which was when we started buying some like really big equipment. So, we didn't even have... So, we're actually doing really good. I mean, we started with absolutely nothing. If you think back to how we started this whole series. Well, maybe we'll see here. I 
like you, there we go. I would like you to connect, is what I would like. Um, we can unfold that. So we should be able to go straight into planting oats. Make sure that's on the correct one there. I wanted to plant like canola or something else, but the only thing we can really plant is oats with this right now, this time of year, so. That's the only disadvantage of seasons, I think. Oh, you're fertilizing that ground right away. That was just a little odd. I was using fertilizer right away. It's okay. There we go. We're doing it. We are doing it. It's still going to take us forever to plant because the DP120 is actually wider than this. So we may be able to do... Uh, can we still... What, what time of year is it? Um, we can still do soy, so maybe we'll do the big field with soy in this field with oats. Because that actually just might be a lot faster for us to do. Um... We still have the other tractor, which can pull the other, the other planter. So maybe that'll just be a better option. But regardless of that, we have managed to finally get this thing up and running. And now I'm driving it terribly, but we're still rocking and rolling. To be fair, and we're. Um, but yeah, our farm is going good. So I just kind of moved us forward into the next year and got every all of our crops planted and stuff and done that we needed to. Our oats are ready to harvest right now, so we actually can probably get that rolling. Hire you to start there, and then, yep, be right here. Get you rocking and rolling on that mine as well. Boom, boom, boom. Um, so I harvested our barley. We got, um, how much should we get off of that? 102,568 liters, which again, I'm going to make into flour pretty much. Um, yeah, so that's rock and rolling. Our oats are obviously ready to harvest. Our corn is planted as well. Um, so yeah, and again, we were working on planting these last episode at the end. Um, and obviously I've done some extension stuff like that. So I did buy this chunk of land and this chunk of land. Um, they weren't as expensive as they are now. We did not have the money at the time. So I did take out a loan to get that taken care of, which we can pay back at some point. Um, but, uh, thank you banks uh, for the loan. Uh, so we got that. I had to take a loan out just to do that. Um, but yeah, finish eating the corns and oats. Let me see what else. I sold all of our soybeans. That's why we have some money in the bank. I sold our soybeans for a total of 184, $184,397. So there we go. Um, yeah, I did chop a bunch of trees down and haul them over to our, uh, planks manufacturer. So that is working again. Um, and I did buy a used trailer, which I think is still up here. This guy right here, the TARDIS, but we're going to hop up to the store real quick. Uh, because we're going to sell this guy in a second. But yeah, so this guy was on sale. It was like $8,000 and we already have one on the farm. And they're pretty useful because they have really high capacity. So uh, we're going to do that. But we're not, we haven't used this thing in a while. So I'm just going to sell it off because I don't, we're not going to use it, I'm sure. Um, we're not going to get really a whole lot of money off of it. But um, it'll just kind of clear it out for us. We actually are going to get more money off of the header, the corn header that is, than anything else. Um, which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, we'll sell that stuff off. Here we go. Yeah, we made a little bit of money, but not a lot, which is fine. I'll get this guy transported back to the farm. So that's all taken care of there. But yeah, everything is going well on our farm. What my goal of this episode would be is to get some cows, I think, over here would be kind of fun. Um, obviously, I'll move all their all the road work equipment, quote unquote, out of the way here. Um, but uh, yeah, and I think in terms of land, since I, maybe we'll buy the, I don't think we need them. We'll probably buy this guy and this guy and then call it a day and then that'll be our farm. Um, obviously I extended these fields out. So starting next time we will get the, all that planted and all that good stuff. So these fields are absolutely massive now. Um, yeah, these are massive. Um, I may cut a little bit away from the edge of this field to make it easier to work with, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But what I'd like to do is use this area through, I mean, here as storage for our equipment to work all of our fields. I think that'll be the plan. Um, this field, I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping here at some point. I think I'm going to extend it straight across. So it's just one big rectangular field. There's not this weird little dip in it. And then up here, obviously, at some point, I'm going to make one another big, long field. Now, I intentionally left this big gap here because um, I don't want us to, because obviously I can't do anything to these trees. So I actually might put a fence along here just because I haven't used the fence feature a lot. So I think that would be kind of fun to do. Um, I'm just going to try to get us up to somewhere that allows me to, there we go, to transport myself up to our farm. Um, so they're doing good, doing taking care of that. We actually could, uh, yeah, I have the, I have some barley here in the TARDIS. I put it in the TARDIS. The TARDIS has just a ridiculous capacity, so it just kind of makes sense. And then I need to turn this guy's auto load on, unless he's full, which nope, he's not. Okay, 
There we go. I don't know how much is actually in here right now. But anyhow, uh, yeah. So stuff is going well. We're getting stuff done. Um, I might just unhire them in a second if I need to. But I'd like to, with you guys in here, um, I think I'd like to get some work done. I will I'll clean up the corners, obviously, a little bit. I just didn't want to didn't want to mess up what we had going on. Um, um, yeah, so I think yeah, so we'll clean some stuff. This is a little bit of a mishap with the plow, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of grass in here to kind of just clean it up the way we like it to look. Um, and then I think we'll put in our dirt path. A little too wide. Oops. That? Yeah, that's probably a little too wide. There we go. That'll be perfect. Work our way along here. Okay. So this path, because what I want this to do is to come down to the other end of the field and then kind of wrap around. We're starting to get to the point where our operation is growing pretty quickly, which is good. We'll make some more money. The other thing I want to think, I, no, I want to think I do. I think I want to do. Can't talk. It's fine. I haven't had any coffee yet today. My coffee's brewing right now as I'm recording this. Uh, what I would like to do, I think, is uh, add precision farming in. I know I did that at the end of last No Man's Land, but I think it'd be a good addition here. Uh, if you guys have any strong objections, let me know, but I think that's probably the plan. To do that um, it shouldn't really make things easier for us it'll just make things better for us I think um, if that makes any sense and this all I want to be I want all this to be grass as well so that's part of the this is gonna be part of the big cost on landscaping all of this I don't care if there's bushes around there's my little wood transporter down there it's fine Across there, we don't need to do the whole thing, but just areas where there's not grass. I see this is costing us some money. Um, and then this area over here, I want this all to be grass now. All the way up till, yeah, probably right into this area. That might be pretty good. And I want our whole field to be grass. Well, bushes. I guess I could have done that with the grass, but that's fine. Okay, there we go. So that's all good. Um, now I do want this to be all field. This is where the cost is going to be pretty big. So I'd like all this to just be. There's not a lot over here, but when we get to those areas that I just painted, there's going to be a pretty big cost for the grass. Is that a tree? I was like, wonder why I wasn't going away when I was painting over it, but I think that might be a tree. I can explain things. Yeah, this is costing us a lot of money. <laughs> Oh, the grass is so expensive. But that's okay. We're going to make our whole farm thing look beautiful by the end of this series. So I would like it to... I mean, honestly, it'd be nice if we can get it more beautiful, beautifuler sooner. Uh, just so it looks nicer for us while we're actually playing on it. Not that we upgraded all the way at the end, right, as we're done on the series. It'd be nice to actually have it looking good for us before that. So there we go. Okay. Nice grass area right across here. Let's finish putting in our road setup. That, that's the wrong texture. That's the right one. Nope, that one. There we go. This one probably actually could be about that width all the way down. Okay. Yeah, we just burned through $100,000 doing this little project over here just to make things look good. Some of you are probably thinking that's insane, which it is a little insane. I'll give you that. Um, I don't like how that looks. Do we want that too? No, I don't want that. Oh, goodness. It just costs us more money at this point. Uh, let's put a little bit more grass in here. Okay. Um, and eventually, I'll probably loop this around the side. For now, we're just gonna just gonna go up to about right there. I'll take some of those trees out, um, but yeah. So, and then what's gonna happen over here? We have this nice road here, which this road will probably go down to here, and maybe also loop up here. 
but that kind of takes us out to this area, which is going to be where we're going to put our cows. Probably starting, probably starting, a nice area over here. Probably start, try to start it up over here, maybe with the pasture on the hill a little bit. Um, that way that's all taken care of and good to go. So that'll be probably the plan there. Hop out of the, oh, what is going on with my computer here? There we go. Okay, I'm going to let, I'm going to save all the work that we just did, all the hard work we just did. Save that. Maybe. Theoretically, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. We're working on that. Yep. Save, save again, of course. Why not? Double save it. Um, it's the auto save feature there. Uh, you're about full. Probably just gonna unhire you here in a second. And then I'll let you turn around there. So, okay. Um, I'm gonna go into flight mode actually, because I think that'll help us kind of take a look at some things. So yeah, our farm's coming along great. The area I'm going to landscape over here, I'm just going to I'm just going to kind of smooth some of this out. Maybe make a little bit of a cliff kind of like this over here along there. Um, again, that's going to cost a little bit of cash, so I'm going to probably be careful with it. But uh, that's definitely a tree right there. Um, but yeah, so this is looking good. Let's see where we can put our fence in. We're pretty close to along this line here. Um, I don't know what kind of fence we should put in here. Let's see what we have. Fences. I don't want anything crazy. That was not bad. Um, no. I don't mind that. It's kind of, I kind of want more of like, that one would be fine actually. Maybe like a, a white fence that's similar to that. Let's see what we got. Because I'm also okay with, no, well that one's not great, but that one be fine. This one, probably not. That one's okay as well. Yeah, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I want it to look nice, you know? That would be... That's the fence right there. That's the one I want. Okay. So right along here. Just to show... Is that outside of our... I don't like how different that line is across there. I think if we just go for it straight down. Why don't you parallel with that road? Something like that. Thousand dollars could crazy. We can just kind of work it off that way. Just eventually, I'll connect it somewhere. I'm sure. Okay, so. Pretty good. Not quite parallel, but what are you colliding with? Maybe we have to do it a little lower. Try that. This is very costly. <laughs> this these fences and stuff. Oh goodness. Could I have waited? Probably. For sure I could have, absolutely. Connect up like right there. And maybe go a little further back. Okay. Let's connect those two. Yep, that's better. Okay. I don't know why that one was being such a pain. What is it colliding with? What could it possibly be colliding with? Well, there's trees in the ground. Is there a tree on the ground there? Yeah, there is. That would be what it's colliding with. Oh, now it'll let me, I'll say for a second, it'll let me build it over there. Okay, well, I'll finish that up later. That's fine. And then this road is just going to keep going out this way. So I just need to clean up some of these trees probably. But yeah, not a bad fence. Looks terrible. It's terrible. If you look at it from that perspective, uh, from this side, if you're just looking at it, it looks great. So we'll just do that. Uh, but yeah, so that gives them, and the reason I want this little kind of area here is this gives uh, workers room to turn around. Honestly, if we want to, we could do some small fields or something if we wanted to do something with that land there, but I'm okay with kind of using it like that. I think that's a good use for it. So, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep working on some different stuff. I'm going to add hopefully some businesses into the town here um, for this episode, but I'll bring you guys back in later on. We're getting our oats harvested and all that, and then I'll probably add precision farming next episode, but that's kind of the plan. So 
Uh, the goal for me is, of course, to get one episode of No Man's Land out a week, but it doesn't always work that way, so I'm trying. But uh, anyhow, we'll, we'll keep working on some stuff, and I'll bring you guys back in in a bit. All right, everyone, we are getting things done, making progress. We have harvested all of our oats. We have planted all of our barley, and we've added in precision farming. However, I haven't purchased the soil map information because it's about, what is it? Yeah, 16, is going to be 16 grand a plot? That was only 9,000. So maybe it's how much field is in there? Because how much is that one? Okay, it's by the fields that are available on there now. So yeah, but anyway, we're still going to have to purchase them all and then repurchase these ones later when we fix that up up there. But regardless of that, oh uh, gosh. Uh, yeah, so anyhow, yeah, some of these are going to be quite expensive. Uh, yes, yeah, so precision farming's on. We're not really using it yet. And coming the new year and spring, we will go ahead and purchase all of those soil maps because we should have some money. Right now, we are running a bit low on cash. Um, our silo was also full, so we may have to do something with that. Uh, but we did get 181,000 liters of oats, which I actually didn't even look at. Uh, what's a good price for those? 637. So we're not going to make a ton of money, honestly, off of those. In December is the time to sell those. I'm going to write that down. Uh, oh, no, I already have that down. Okay, perfect. So oats, December, 637. And then I think next year we will do... Uh, Excuse me, probably soybeans, because then we can add a bunch of nitrogen to the soil. So that'll be good for us and get some good cash off of that. Um, yeah, what are the... Canola's not bad, but canola takes forever to grow. Wheat, barley, oats. Yeah, I guess oats probably a good call. But anyhow, we have a little bit of barley. I guess we have a little bit more room in here now. But our salad only holds 200,000 liters of stuffs. But uh, yeah, so anyhow, everything is going smoothly. We're making flour. We're making lots of planks. So we're going to sell our planks off at some point and get a lot of money from that. And now, obviously, as you can see here, we are doing our silage harvest, which we are getting a lot off it so far. We've already gotten 300,000 liters plus what's in this trailer off of here. So we're going to do just fine off the silage harvest as well, which is great. So, yeah. And then, obviously, we can keep repurposing this and doing all that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm going to keep doing a lot of stuff off camera. I do want to buy a seed tender at some point, And I did want to get cows set up on this episode, but that's not looking very promising, probably. So I don't know what to do about that. Um... Yeah, so I may not be able to do that just because I've probably spent around six hours. Actually, it's probably more than that. Quite close to eight hours, actually, of off-camera stuff just for this episode. So we're rocking and rolling. That's why it takes me so long to get uh, No Man's Land episodes out. Uh, but what we are going to do is take a look at some businesses later on. Uh, but I wanted to bring you guys back in here just for a quick update to kind of get you, you know, updated with where we're at um, and everything like that. And then I also wanted to mention a few things. One... Uh, if you guys have not checked out G Portal, there's a link down below in the description. You can rent a server through them. They have really high quality servers and the prices are lower than most other server companies, if not all of them. And it's really cheap to add a lot of different extra mods to your servers and stuff like that. So if you need oh, this guy likes to do this every so often in the field. But uh, yeah, so uh, if you want to get a discount, use that link down there. It also goes to help support the channel. G Portal is very kind to me, so it's very awesome. There's also a link down below to the Farmer Cop merchandise store. If you wanted to get a good Christmas gift, you can do that. Um, there are some special Christmas mugs out for 2023 that will only be available for December and a little bit into January, maybe if I forget to take them down, but um, they're they're going to be a seasonal thing that I do every year. Um, and if you wanted to get some coffee, maybe as gifts, if you're located in the U.S., I do have my own coffee brand, firstrespondercoffees.com, and that's also linked down below in the description. So go ahead and order some coffee. The coffee is more expensive than what you typically pay for coffee. Um, however, it's very high quality coffee. It's what I drink every day. It's very, very good coffee. It tastes fantastic um so you guys can check that out and if you wanted to order the game for someone down below on pc we're trying to get the gold status with giants so make sure you guys click any of those links to order different games down below um and now the final thing i kind of wanted to mention and kind of go over with you guys before i put another break in here um while we're harvesting is um i'm going to try to mention a few different uh people who left comments for businesses as we go through these are ones that i did not end up adding in uh so wesley decker thank you for leaving your comment you wanted to open a landscaping business for moving rocks and loving the land then it will be land master and i will give good prices from work i'm from the netherlands and enjoy watching the episode so thankfully what thank you wesley um i just don't think i have a place to put your business in and i'm also running out of room for businesses is one problem well actually room is less of the issue it's the game i can't put too much on the map because right now the game will crash every so often so if i keep putting too much stuff on here um the game will just crash period so um i have an idea of what i want to do with the remaining space um that i have left over on no man's land and that's kind of what i'm going to use it for so thank you anyhow uh Thanasi 360 says hi farmer cop discovered your channel this week and i've already caught right up with this awesome series i've had a business and recurring contract idea for you 
Uh, so me and my wife were looking for a change of pace to the big city and, looked, and liked the look of this little town. We've always wanted to open an old-style single-screen movie theater that only plays old movies. We also wanted to sell local products to help out the local community. If we settle here and build our theater, we would require four pallets of popcorn for our grand opening while we get our popcorn machine installed. We can pay 10% over asking price. We'll throw in a couple of free tickets for you to come and enjoy a movie. Going forward, we pay 5% over asking for uh, corn, and we would be willing to sell local ice cream in the future, which is super awesome. So another great idea, and I'm actually just going to stop this guy real quick. We're going to grab this and get this guy unloaded since we are pretty much full. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, Corporal Charisma said, hey, I've seen business idea here. Uh, my parents owned a, a construction business for a while up in North Carolina for about 15 years. I would like to relocate uh, to your town. We need wood, stones, and things to be of, of the like to produce cement and housing for more residential districts in the town. Bill to mention the name of it, Spetter Construction Company. So appreciate the ideas. I love it, guys. Thank you guys for all the comments. Um, we will do a similar series, most likely, in FS25. I'm assuming that's going to be the next game that comes out. So uh, stay tuned for that as well. We will do that. But uh, yeah, so fantastic ideas. I have three more I'm going to quickly go over here with you guys. Uh, if you guys don't care, of course, you can skip forward. But I wanted to make sure that everyone who left a comment gets... Um, a highlight because I do appreciate it. So Pudge Mountain says, here's a business idea for the map if not suggested. I uh, used to be a lumberjack in the PNW until Pacific Northwest, that is, until a back injury forced me into retirement. I have many memories of that job, especially the breakfast, which consists of hearty pancakes uh, marinated with maple syrup. I thought since No Man's Land is very forced area, why not open up maple syrup farm with the possibility of pancake production? So I do have another pancake uh, production on here for someone that uh, mentioned it sooner. So that'll be the one on there. But I really wanted to thank you for that comment. So thank you for that. Andrew Coleman says, Coleman Livestock and Trekking. Every horse is pig, sheep, and cattle in Southern Illinois. I would love to branch out and have a new location. Um, I would have three semis, two cattle pots, and a hopper bottom trailer. So thank you, Andrew, for the comment. Appreciate it. And lastly, Ricky Carr says, do you have a detailing shop yet? I'd love to open one up and clean the equipment and tractors. I run my own detail company in the UK, which also offers paint correction, 20% off of the dealership. It's called Carbright, and we even do mobile valets between 50 and 300 on full details. Loving the series. Can't wait to watch more. So... Uh, thank you, everyone, for those comments. I do appreciate it. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to put another break in here, get some more stuff done off camera, and then I'll bring you guys back in when it's time to go take a look at some stuff in town. And we'll call it an episode probably at about that point. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right. I finished our stone picking, and yeah, I don't, I don't think I did a whole lot else off camera, but I decided I'd probably just show you guys um, these stores so I can wrap up this episode, or the new businesses, I guess I should say. Um, and some new features as well. We might actually go into, you know what? We might actually do that. Might go into flight mode. Boy, there's some lag through here. Holy smokes. That was rough. It's still rough. <laughs> Gosh. That's what I'm talking about. There's just so much on this map for the game to render in. Even though I've been over here already. Holy smokes. Okay, I might just park here. We might just go into flight mode. Wow, that was rough. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and get into flight mode. I think that'll just be easier for us. Uh, okay, so the city is growing. Goodness. Let me just get some of this lag out of here. Hopefully, if it just renders everything in. Okay. Maybe that'll speed it up a little bit if it renders it all in. Okay. Maybe. Nope. Still pretty laggy. I wonder if it's something on my computer. Then No, it looks all good on that end. Anyhow, okay. So that could just, no, no, see, that's a little bit less laggy now. So, um, okay, as you know, we have this nice uh, residential area. So I added a park or finished this kind of park area over here, put a little electrical box in, and then I added a bike path. So it goes kind of along here. You can see you can, it hooks up right out here. I don't know if I might make it continue to go up over to the woods area. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Uh, but yeah, it goes along here, goes through the woods here, down this way, and then you can again go to the parking lot and across here. And it goes across this road over to here. You can get out there if you wanted to go to those shops or go this way and then continue up it this way and then over and then up across this way if you wanted to ride it into kind of our downtown area. So, yeah, just kind of a nice little area for people like to ride bikes and stuff like that. I feel like as cities get bigger, you need to have more kind of features like that for people. But, uh, yeah, so new businesses, there's quite a few. I added a few things over here and I also added kind of the shopping area over here. Some of these businesses don't have owners. Um, so I might give some of the people that we haven't given businesses to, I uh, might give them just to put their names on it just for their comments and such like that. Uh, but I think this area through here is going to be just residential. I think that just kind of makes sense. And that'll finish out. Maybe we'll do like a big park area actually too to kind of make it less laggy, like put some big sports fields or something like that. 
Um, and then, yeah, so like, obviously like with all this beautiful space, I would rather just continue to build up and take all of the land around here and build basically, um, boy, it's just lagging real slow, making me nervous. Uh, just build this whole area up, but you can see there's just so much stuff going on here. This is why the game is struggling, uh, to have all this on here. Uh, it takes me about 15 minutes to load this game save just to put that in perspective. So it is a time consuming process. So anyhow, new businesses, Sean Monan, I apologize if I'm saying it wrong, says, uh, possible subscribe to contracts less business. I, Sean, wish to open Sean's savory suits, a tailor shop and corresponding spinnery. I'll pay 15% premium on wool or cotton. So I just added the tailor shop, which we have right here. Um, we have Sean's savory suits, which you can see right down there in that little sign. It's kind of hard to see from this distance. So, oh boy, that's a little too quick, maybe. Um, okay, there we go. Sean's savory suits. Beautiful. So there you go, like that. Uh, Preston Wolf said, if you're looking for a furniture shop in town, I'd love to open up Marlin's Custom Furniture in memory of my grandfather who taught me everything I know about woodworking. Be willing to pay 10% higher than current market on any wood, fabric, wool, cotton, etc. You could bring us to make new furniture. Uh, so again, some of these guys have subscriber contracts. I don't know if I'll take any of those on, um, but I do like, well, I do like the idea of the businesses being on here. So here we go. We have Marlin's Custom furniture which this is part of the premium expansion it's the furniture factory as part of that which is pretty cool uh luke west had a couple things one he said due to increasing and developing population in the town we need to make sure that people are medically safe by adding a clinic since there are many businesses that involve dirty work disease could easily spread uh so we now have a clinic um right here so i decided to use these guys as a clinic so kind of like a health office and clinic there um and luke west also said he uh hi fc i have escaped from war in my country and have made it into the area to start a business to feed my family and it's been all my dream to start a pancake business called luke's pancakes so using the pancake mod from eos we have where's that oh goodness oh it's right here here we go we have did i put the name on there oh, i didn't i forgot to give them the name um i can do that real quick actually we can get out of flight mode here did let me edit this maybe not because i'm not on the right farm account goodness slow us down here that speed is killing us yeah let me add let me just fix that real quick we'll jump over to the businesses account here yes all right there we go all right perfect so actually let's put that in all caps boom luke's pancakes perfect there we go uh farmer or ss farmer fs farmer jj13 said he wanted to start a restaurant because he loves to cook so i gave him this restaurant right down here this bad boy right here so we have uh farmer jay's restaurant so there we go. Actually, we could make that Farmer J's. Instead of the Farmer J restaurant. Yeah, let's do that. Farmer J's restaurant. Beautiful. I like that. Uh, Dino Hunter Sean says, Hi, I'm Dino. I want to open up a factory. I'd like to open a dairy because I always like chocolate and still do. It's my favorite type of sweet. And there is and is like to start a production chain. Or I'd like to start a production chain. So over down here, we have a dairy facility now. This guy right here which is Dino's Dairy. So I like that. Um, did I add any more in here? Um, yeah, yeah, That's the, those are the ones I added in for this episode. So that's what I got for you guys. But I think uh, that is where we're going to wrap up this episode. So if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.